You got so you gotta in the white camera. Whatever it is, that's good. Okay.
and baseball fans, and welcome to the campus of Heritage Hall at Stadium 11, where today we begin regional action, 4A baseball. Heritage Hall, obviously the host. The opponent today will be the Cash Bulldogs. The other two uh, teams in the region are the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets and Ada Cougars, familiar names to all you baseball fans and Charger fans in general. I'm Steve Chard, class of 88, along with Brett Bogart of 05, and uh, Brett, some familiar names here. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, great job to the uh, yes, sir. all the crew. The field looks great for as much rain as we got. Um, they did a great job getting this field ready to go for only a two-hour delay. That's amazing. I wasn't wasn't sure we were going to be able to get this thing going. But yeah, some familiar names: the, the Cash Bulldogs. You know, we faced them in the last couple of years and in, in uh, football, and and obviously, uh, you know, one of our biggest rivals in all sports is the, the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets. And then you know, familiar <laughs> foe for the football and basketball team and the Ada Cougars. So yep. I expect this to be a you know a great uh, regional with a lot of big names. So it should be fun. Yeah, very competitive regional too. I you know. Uh, Kingfisher comes in at 25 and 5, and Ada at 22 and 12. And our opponent today for Heritage, the, eight, the Bulldogs, are 18 and 15. So, pretty strong. The Chargers come in ranked uh, the the one seed in this, and rank, uh, with a record of 25 and 6, 10 and 2 as district champs. Um, you know, today several things to talk about. But first, an easy one is our featured player, uh, Brett, is starting shortstop pitcher, uh, one of the great, better athletes in the history of the school, Blake Adams. Yeah, Blake, uh, you know, it's pretty – you can say a lot about Blake. Uh, he's started started in football for us for four years. He started on the baseball team for four years, uh, and he's just a flat winner. Um, you, you know, you, he can play anywhere on the on the field. He can pitch. He can play any position. In fact, I think he's played all nine positions at some point in his career. Um, we, but we expect a, a big, you know, playoff run for him in his, in his last uh, kind of go-round as a Heritage Hall charger. Um, you know, he's great at the plate, had another successful year, and – we expect big things from him, not only uh, the rest of the regional and the rest of the playoffs, but as he uh, moves on to UCO to play his baseball there. Well, it's a great point, and, and Blake is one of many of this incredibly uh, successful senior class uh, of whom we will feature a few more of those guys when we come back after this first break from uh, Stadium 11 here on the campus of Heritage Hall. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Order up. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. E Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City is proud to offer the leader of luxury SUVs, the new 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350. We were looking for a powerful luxury SUV that's easy to handle. Safety is always a concern when driving on the highway, and we were really impressed with all the safety features on the GLE. It has a lot of cargo space, and that's very important to me when I'm hauling the family around. Our sales associate made our experience very memorable. It was just that easy. Only at Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City. Welcome back to Stadium 11 here at Heritage Hall. Uh, several things to talk about today, and one of them, Brett, is our Mercedes-Benz keys to victory today. Yeah, Mercedes-Benz of OKC, they've been a great sponsor for Charger Vision. Uh, we really appreciate uh, all they do for this program. But, uh, yeah, the keys to, to the game today versus the Cash Bulldogs are shut down their speed. Uh, Coach Draper said he's very impressed with their speed. They're good base runners. Uh, they, you know, they turn infield grounders into hits, so we, we've got to really focus on that and uh, shut it down. Also got to be disciplined at the plate. Um, you know, I think Coach Draper thinks that we've taken a, been lost our patience at the plate mm -hmm. in a few games recently. Mm -hmm. uh, really just being patient, making sure uh, we're swinging at good pitches and getting some good at bats. Uh, and then don't stop playing until the final pitch. I know that uh, this has been something that he's harped on all season. Um, you know, with a talented team like this, sometimes they kind of, you know, go into a lull or lose focus. But, uh, you know, this is it. You know, this is sure. playoffs now. This is postseason ball. So you've got to stay focused until the final pitch, which, which I fully expect these guys to be locked in and do. Well, we have a great lineup. As many of you who followed the, the Chargers this year know, led by several good seniors and leading off that group today, as he's been for the last several weeks, will be Chandler Chuck Shepard, and he will be catching today, followed by number 25 Carson Orton, who will be playing first base. Uh, the aforementioned Blake Adams will be in the three hole playing shortstop. Freshman sensation Colby Lewis has been batting cleanup for several weeks. That's quite a that's quite a, uh, an accomplishment for a young freshman, especially in this lineup. And he will be playing second base today. 
On the bump for the Chargers today will be Landry Kyle. Had a great outing his last uh, time at a complete game win against Elgin. Uh, in center field, where he's been most of the year, is Max Hardberger, followed by Jake LaForce, who will be in left field. Number 14, Range Faulkner, will bat today and play in right field. And batting in the nine hole will be Preston Taylor, who will be at third base. Uh, so it's a formidable lineup, uh, Brett, with a lot of great seniors. Preston Taylor, Chuck, Carson, Blake, uh, those guys, you know, uh, really a, kind of the heart and soul of athletics around here for the last several years. And I know they want to finish strongly as we get ready to face cash. Yeah, it's an impressive group, obviously led by this great senior class. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a great lineup. It's hard to kind of find a weakness. You know, PT down there in the nine hole, mm -hmm. you know, he does he's done a great job. You know, hit, he comes, you know, his batting average might not be quite what he wants it to be, but it seems like every time he's in a big spot, he comes up with a, you know, a game-winning hit or well, and I think know, a big bunt or whatever exactly. to help the team. You hit it. I think one of the reasons Coach Draper has him down there is he is an excellent bunter. We know from from all your our years of football watching him out, he has great speed. And you, you better pick it up and throw him out or he'll, he'll be on and, and, and make you pay. So a um, lot going on today, a uh, lot of career records to watch today. Uh, Blake Adams is currently number five on the all-time hit list for the Chargers with 141, followed by Chuck Shafford, number seven, with 126. So right there you got, you know, doubles. Blake is high on the list with 34. Carson Orton in limited time as over his career has 31. Home runs is Carson has 11. Uh, the list goes on and on. The season watch, I know Blake Adams has a, a base or two to be stolen. Let's see here. Yeah, and he needs just a few more bases uh, to, to top the chart from what I've been told uh, for, for a career, 72 and counting. Um, uh, so, uh, and this season, ERA Chandler Shepard, which he will pitch hopefully in the, in the second game, third game today, has a, an ERA of just .71. So all kinds of great statistics to throw at you. And uh, as we get ready to play here, we're going to pause as we honor America with our national anthem in just a few seconds. about set for action and due to regional play you flip the coin to see the home team even though we're the number one seed and we lost the coin flip so we will be the visitor today uh, and that means batting first and like we said that will lead us off with Chuck Shepard in the leadoff spot followed by Carson and Blake Adams. I've always thought that I've always wondered why they do that uh, you know if you earn the one seed I feel like you deserve to be the the home team but you know yeah, that's how it's done. Can you imagine winning our district in football and then, and then going on the road? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, so at least we are hosting. Uh, on the bump today uh, for the Bulldogs will be left-hander um, Alex Smith. Tall, lanky, good-looking young man. And he will be batting cleanup, obviously one of the Bulldogs' best players. Yeah, he's got a lefty looking, good looking. Alex Smith, new Redskins quarterback. <laughs> Thought he's a righty though. 
Yeah, right? <laughs> but, uh, Bulldogs out there getting their warm-ups in. Left-hander. Looks like he's got some decent stuff. Yeah, but, it's uh, throw a lot of off-speed and warm-up there. Uh, you know, again, to reiterate what Brett said, that the fact that we're playing baseball today after looking at this field, if you'd have seen this field at 8 o'clock, you'd have never believed it. Home plate was underwater. Uh, they were standing water all over the field, and the team of the Ryans, yeah, along the Ryans. with Coach, Coach Draper, Coach Gefeller, and a lot of our dads were out here working their tails off to get this thing ready to go, which is where we are set for pitch one of 2018 regional action here at Heritage Hall. And that's a ball on the outside for the first pitch of the game. Yeah. Must have been was it out just outside. Yeah, looked a little, like a good out. from here. Couldn't quite tell. That's right in there yeah. for strike one. Is the count even to Chuck Shepard at one and one? Yeah, good looking pitch there from Smith. This is a intimidating top three of the lineup to, to get started for any pitcher. Goodness, no kidding. Yeah, he's going to miss down low there, and the count in Chuck's favor at two and one. Yeah, Chuck's batting a nice 476 this year. It's impressive. <laughs> I mean, I remember last year in his sophomore year, really, he really struggled mm -hmm. with batting, and he's really worked on it and stepped up his game. Well, Chuck, one of our favorites. You know, all these kids are, and Chuck's a lot of fun. Uh, you yep. know, works hard, and uh, he'll fool you. Oh, you know, yeah. He can run. He's got a great arm. Just a heck of an athlete. Absolutely. He's a grinder. He, he knows how to win in every sport he played. That one's oh, fouled over here to our side. Ooh, that was close to a passerby there. <laughs> Wouldn't be a nice way to enter into campus, take a foul ball into the windshield. Uh, no. The disclaimer up, I hope. <laughs> That's lifted to right field. Playable. And Chuck will be retired as that is uh, caught by Hunter Tate out in right field for the Bulldogs. A good start for Alex Smith. Yeah, that's always, always good, Chuck. You know, Chuck, Just as a leadoff hitter, has, mm -hmm. you know, done a really good job getting getting on base, and uh, Alex Smith does a good job retiring Well, Chuck for out number one. Watching this kid, you can tell it's, he's, he's going to be a pitcher and, and place the ball, not throwing terribly hard. And it's sometimes hard for these really good hitters to sit back and wait on a, on a medium pace pitch like we're going to see today, it looks like. Carson have a new bat for <laughs> postseason play? I don't know. I would be surprising, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would Unless be he broke it or something. It's just a little sunnier, getting a different shine at this time of day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit when we usually start, oh, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that we're playing, only a two-hour delay is great. It's turned out to be an absolutely perfect day to play some ball. This is just a great time of year for, for athletics. There's so much going on at this time of year. and be good to get some of the students down for free hot dogs. That's right. Hopefully we get a good crowd going. Curveball there, I bet you that uh, Carson would prefer to have back. He hung that one pretty good, and, and Carson fought it off. Time time has been called. Kid's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Left that one out there as another off-speed pitch comes in there. The count goes to two and – excuse me, that's just ball one for one and two count. Yeah, don't don't blame him for leaving that one out of the zone. You don't want to – don't want to make a mistake and give Carson something to hit. In the dirt for ball two is the count evens. Good eye there from Carson. That one's inside. Mm -hmm. Gets past him. Fastball and a mistake oh, yeah. there right into the gap. Hit hard by Carson, and he will round first. Easily cruise in for a double. Yeah, great hit there from Carson. Kind of Smith left that one hanging, and Carson mm -hmm. ripped it into the gap for a double. Chargers get their first runner in scoring position, bringing up Blake Adams, the Fuzzies feature player. Well, these are the kind of situations Blake likes, and uh, this young man's going to have a hard time throwing that fastball by very many of our hitters. Absolutely. It's almost Blake thrives on, on situations like this. You know, the last game that, that I called, he gave up 
six runs pitching mm-hmm. in the top half of the first and and you know some kids would you know that would ruin their day but he hung in there and came up with some some big hits and some big plays to in that big comeback victory well i think you know in the three years have been around him he's just he's gotten so mature and, and handles his business up down or medium in all this competition that he's endured all these years and I'm sure will be a fine addition to the UCO program up the street here in Edmond. Yeah, him, him and Chuck. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. And the man, on, right the man on second base will be heading to Cali County Junior College. Yeah, talented, talented group for sure. Good eye there from Blake. Well, Smith is in a quick hole 2-0 and o to Blake Adams here in the top of the first of regional action. Here at field, I want to say field every time, Brett. Stadium 11. Stadium 11. <laughs> Good pitch there from Smith. Yeah, a yeah, little bit tail to the outside there. You know, Blake, Blake wants to get a hit. He didn't want to <laughs> He didn't want to sit back. That was no, no. That was money's worth. Shelper's shoes were tightened right there. Fouled to the right side and out of play. And the count goes even two and two to Blake Adams. Good job by Smith coming right back. Even the count. Smith working out of the stretch and delivers. And Blake oh, hits it hard. From Blake. And as you might expect, he comes through with an RBI single as Carson Orton cruises home easily to get us on the board first and take a 1-0 lead. Absolutely. Great patience there from Blake. Rips it for the RBI single. Carson's little stumble going around third there, but gets home safely. Like we know, he he can run better than you might think. Absolutely. (laughs) You don't want to get in the way of it either. 19 sacks in yeah. uh, football season, school record. Not, yeah. not too shabby. All right, in steps young freshman Colby Lewis. Uh, had an incredible season. Yeah, I've been extremely impressed with him. The way he he does not behave like a freshman out there. He just nope. looks so comfortable. And I'm hearing he will be on the gridiron. That's Coach what I've Coach heard Bunger. as well. I've heard I've heard mm-hmm. he'll be a, a good addition. You can see a little strong safety action or something like that yeah. with that young man. I think that's what he played. And I'm, in excited, the past. I'm excited to get him out there. I've heard he's a hard worker. I've obviously seen the way he plays, and it's impressive for a freshman. Blake, probably our craftiest, best base runner. They better pay close attention, or he'll be standing on second base here. And and you know, with this lefty, that's always a little harder to steal on, but. The pace of his pitches is in Blake's favor. Oh, yeah, Blake chasing that stolen bases record, too. Drape's usually pretty aggressive as well, mm-hmm. so playoffs it especially. shock me to see Blake take off here. One and one to count to Kobe Lewis, 286 hitter, and just a ninth grader. That's a balk. That's exactly right. He he didn't come to a to a pause there, so no work needed to be done to get to second base. He and that's good officiating there. It's not going to be. This is not a throwaway game on Monday night. Yep. No warnings. Varsity baseball. He didn't come to a complete pause. Discernible stop. Then that's a balk. That's what that's what happens when you have that dangerous of a, a base runner. Get you Obviously nervous. Thinking about Blake a little bit over there. Good sign that the umpire doesn't have to see that once and then call it. There's no no room for that at the playoff level. Good eye there from Colby. Just a little low. The Chargers, yeah, with that block, Blake moves into scoring position. Absolutely. So table set for Colby here. Cut counts in his favor at two and one. Good eye there, Colby. That's about as hard as he's throwing one right there. Yeah, he reached back on that mm-hmm. one a little bit. Going up and down the roster trying to see what guys played football. You know, Nunley was the quarterback, yep. number four. Strike at the letters there, and that's a, that's a high school strike, and that's where it ought to be. You look up strike zone in the uh, book, it's not what you see on the TV. 
<laughs> you call that strike at the letters on TV, and you won't be doing it very long. They don't have the they don't have a little box to look through. Like, <laughs> Those, they, they never the they never TV. miss. It's amazing. <laughs> Those guys never hardly miss one. Chase that one for strike three. Did Colby and uh, for the second out of the inning. Yeah, good good job there from Smith battling back to to record out number two. Blake's still out there on second as the, the pitcher. Landry Kyle comes to the, the plate. Well, good spot for Landry. He's been playing really well. Uh, Landry's a two solid 295 hitter. He's had five doubles, three triples, a couple home runs, 28 ribbies. So he's I'm, I'm impressed with his improvement as well. Yeah, he has uh, really come a long way. He's gotten so much taller since yep. we knew him in junior high. He's and filled out a little bit. He's another guy I'm trying to work on to get back out there on the, yeah, the great iron. He's a well-rounded athlete. Good. Absolutely. The more you get out there, the better. No doubt about it. It'd be fun to get Landry back out there. Make sure he, he needs to watch this uh, telecast. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, you know, with all his talent and everything, he's a very fundamentally sound young man. He, if you, you guys watching, especially young kids, watch the second, the two out lead that he takes at second base, a little deeper, walks into it, uh, does things right in the game. Right down there for a strike. And one and two the count now to Landry Kyle. Yeah, good good pitch there from Smith. Now with two outs, I think he's kind of focusing on the batter a little bit more, not just worried about Blake. Yeah, you don't want to make that third out at third base. I wouldn't, unless he just quits looking at him. I don't think Blake will be going. It's a curveball that's going to miss down low. Good job, Landry. That was very tempting. Yeah, good pitch. Coming in there at about 42 miles an hour to hit, try to swing at that. <laughs> 2-2 two, two count, two outs. Well, looks like we get, we get some new uh, new bleachers out there in the third baseline. We certainly did. Got some first fans sitting got, out there, too. I think that's a great idea. That is cool. Good eye there from Landry. Think about if you were sitting there in a major league game. Those are big-time seats. Ah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I like it. Good addition. All right, full count. To Landry Kyle, Blake, ball four. Great at bat, Landry Kyle. Good patience there, great job, Landry. Okay, so first and second, two down here in the top of the first. Be the center fielder, Max Hardberger. Max batting 296 with four doubles, two triples, 13 ribbies. Uh, good speed, obviously playing center field, has 10 stolen bases. Solid player. Max is very talented. Sometimes, you know, he'll he'll make a play that really really surprise you. Good athlete. Smith. Adams chased back by Smith there. There goes really? du double steal, and he's going to make it there. easily. Stay on the bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he made that. He got such a good lead, a great jump. Well, and great job. You know, the chances are, you know, the odds are he's not going to throw back to second two times in a row at this level. And good job, Coach Draper, as always, right in the head of the other team and gets a double steal there. So great move, second and third now for the Chargers as Max Hardberger looks at ball two. I've been impressed with Max is another kid who's, who's improved a lot since last year. It's good to good to see. It's good to see these different kind of different kids step up in, in big situations. See if Max can get a get a big hit right here for the Chargers. Yeah, he left it up. Oh, is he going to get this? Oh, just foul. down the right field line is going to be about six eight feet foul. Uh, well, his eyes got big on that one. A fastball up in the zone and. Not not real fast, and Max jumped on it just a hair late. Otherwise, we cleared it right there with a stand-up double. Good eye there from Max.
Off speed one in there to, eat, to bring the count full. Three and two to Max Hardberger. Good job there, Max, fighting that off and keeping this at-bat alive. Obviously a big one with runners at second and third. Runners will be off on crack of the bat, so let's go, Max. Okay, puts the bat on the ball, dribbles it to first. Uh, yep. Good play there from the Smith yep. to get over to cover. Yep, good hustle by Max to uh, make that a close one. So through a half, lengthy half, and uh, the Chargers unfortunately just won. But, hey, that's a great way to start the game. One run, and we'll uh, stay right here, keep it right here as the uh, Bulldogs will now come to bat. Yeah, it's a long, long half inning, we're, and we're so used to obviously being the home team at home. I was thinking <laughs> thinking that's one complete, but it's only half. Yep. Landry Kryle will stroll to the mound. All right, we got the, the Bulldogs batting order this evening. Uh, number 10, the shortstop, Diego Gonzalez, will lead off. Uh, batting second, number four, Hayden Nunley, the center fielder. Number one, Landon Abbott, the third baseman, will bat third. The pitcher, Alex Smith, is batting cleanup. Uh, number eight, Logan Donovsky, the first baseman, batting the five hole. Number nine, Kyle Mullen, the second baseman, will be batting sixth. The left fielder, number six, Grant Goodman, will be batting seventh. Hunter Tate, the right fielder, will be batting eighth. And batting in the nine hole is number 15, the catcher, Peyton Hunt. Well, and we don't have a ton of stats on the Bulldogs today, but uh, so we'll have, you know, we'll just call it as we see it. But um, as always, we know that it takes a lot of people and interest and financial help to make Charger Vision hap happen. One of those is Heyday Entertainment. It's packed with family fun, bi-level bi laser tag arena with bridges and ramps, mini golf, ropes course, arcade, and pizza. Visit them in Lower Bricktown or Norman and watch the game the Heyday way. Quickly, one other one, Quail Creek Bank. Thank, thank the Quil folks at Quail Creek Bank for supporting us again this year. It's your connection to better banking. Quailcreek.bank, member FDIC. Yeah, big thank you to all the sponsors that uh, make all this possible. It's a really great, great deal. and. Uh, we encourage people to step up and sponsor as, we, as this only gets bigger and better each year. Okay, so the Cash Bulldogs will, are coming to bat here in the bottom of the first, coached by Brandon Ibarra with an 18-15 and 15 record to have the Bulldogs. If you don't know where Cash is, if you know where Lawton is, you know where Cash is. Yep. And uh, really beautiful facilities the last few years uh, improved down at Cash. Nice, beautiful turf field and uh, wellness center. So things are going well at Cash. Yep, drove right by. The school the other day on our way to Lot. <laughs> on the oh, it was a soccer action. Uh -huh. soccer, you know? First pitch by Landry Kyle is down and away for a ball one. That's right in there, yeah. Pitching really well lately, and that's strike one by Landry Kyle. He just looks like a different athlete up there. Yeah. Uh-oh, getting a little, a little leak coming in here yeah. into the – press box. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. We'll battle through the elements. Yep. Yeah, we, those guys have been working in the mud all day. At least we can deal with is a drip. <laughs> <laughs> two and two, the count to Gonzalez. It came out of the blue. Not a cloud in the sky anymore. It didn't rain. <laughs> That's hit hard to second bases. Colby Lewis easily makes the play to retire. Gonzalez. Which makes it look easy out there. Yeah, take, you know, just very technique sound are the Chargers as always. Doesn't, yeah, doesn't look like a ninth grader out there. Is that all uh, Barry Sanders down there? Well, I heard I he was down here taking BP the other day and yeah, looked like a major video. leaguer. I think that's him <laughs> over there sitting uh, the brain trust. Oh, down yeah, there. over there with C Cooper Joe Cloud, Joe, Joe Waldron, Chris Gefeller. Is that Larry? Is that Larry in between there? I imagine Larry is here. Ball out and away. Chuck was set out there, and that's where it was pitched. For all you old guys, Chuck Shepard went Tony Pena on the uh, stance right there for the catcher. Off speed misses away also to 2 0 oh quickly the count to Hayden Nunley. 
the center fielder for the Bulldogs. There's one swing and a miss to bring the count to two and one to Nunley. Oh, there's Barry. There he is. Oh, Barry Sanders Jr. Well, <laughs> Barry J. Sanders, he'd get mad right. if, if I was the one calling him Barry Jr. <laughs> Yeah, pretty pretty good football player back in his day here, but uh, he was also quite the baseball player. Yeah, he's a he could, believe it or not, he could cover some ground out there in center field. Ah, uh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> that ball's fouled down the right field line for strike two to bring the count full to Hayden Nunley, the Bulldog center fielder here. One out in the bottom of the first. Chargers leading one nothing. Yeah, Nunley, I believe he was the quarterback. I believe. I think you're right. Yep. That been skied out of play. He's going to land on the Colonel Charlie Stevenson Fieldhouse. One of my all-time favorite guys, the Colonel. It's hard to believe that that building's been here for, I guess, what, 13 years mm -hmm. now. Still looks brand new to this day. It's a great facility. Oh, good hard hit ball. Oh, good by job Nunley. by Nunley reaching out and poking that into center field for a base hit. Pretty good at bat by Nunley there. One so, positive. Uh, yep, sorry, coach. No, one no. positive is it cho shows our good, uh, good Charger horse stencil out there. Isn't in that beautiful? Field. Looks great out there. And the Ryan's were responsible for that as well. It looks great. It's centered perfectly as always, and that's the new logo, right, Brett? Oh yeah, new logo. <laughs> longer full tail, full tail, lightning bolt. full mane, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> one on, one out for the Bulldogs here, with the three hole hitter Landon Abbott up. Landon, the third baseman for the Bulldogs. Strike one, always important, and great job there, Landry. Serving it right in there. Oh, off speed there. Curveball is lifted on the infield to Adams. He has called it and easily makes the play for out number two. He'll wish he to. Those curveballs, they make you, make you want to go after him and Sometimes you do just that, pop it up on the infield for a harmless out. So two down, big pitch there by Landry Kyle to retire the three hole. It brings up the pitcher Smith, the cleanup hitter who will pitches and bats from the left side. Yeah, Smith did a good job limiting the damage. Chargers had runners on second and third. Yes, he stranded. did. He did a good job battling out of that jam. Good pitch Runners there. off and away and he's out. You betcha. Wow. Chuck Chappard with an absolute BB down to second base. Retires the cash quarterback and three-hole hitter. Nunley, excuse me, two-hole to retire the side. After one complete, Heritage Hall Chargers lead the cash Bulldogs one to nothing. We'll be right back here to Stadium 11 with more baseball action. Joe Cooper will beat any other Ford dealer's price on a new Ford. And I'll beat any Ford dealer's price on a new Ford by $500. Or we'll give you $10,000 cash. Check it out. Get a new 2017 Escape for only $16,849 or just $159 a month. Or get a new F-150 Super Crew SDX for only $299 a month. Getting the best buy of the week is fast, fun, and easy at Joe Cooper Ford. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. Oh, my goodness. Better keep it rated G, hadn't we? Welcome back, Charger fans. Uh, back to Stadium 11 for uh, second inning action. Uh, your Chargers are leading 1-0 through one complete. Um, you might be confused. The Chargers, uh, we are at Stadium 11 uh, on the campus of Heritage Hall, but the Chargers are the visiting team in this opening game of the regional based on a coin flip. Yeah, weird. We were discussing that. In our, that's how they run baseball. and. At the postseason, neutral site, so to speak, and everything being neutral. So nothing more democratic than the old coin flip. So the Bulldogs won it, and they're the home team today. I apologize. I misspoke about uh, Nunley. He was a running back. I knew he was okay. a, a big player for them. He uh, was one of their better players, in fact. Good good defensive back as well. All right. 
Second inning action here. Leading off for the Chargers will be left fielder Jake LaForce. If you don't like how Jake plays, then you don't like to watch because he... He's scrappy. Yes, he, does, he is. He, he does what needs to be done. 100%, 110% effort every time you're on the basketball court or out here on the baseball field. Jake does a good job. He may, he's had a couple of incredible catches the last few weeks out in left field. He's one of the he's one of the hardest working kids in the school in Charger Iron. It's it's fun to get to coach some of the, these kids that sure that don't uh, that don't play football and get to see them get after it in Charger Iron. He's one of the hardest working kids we got out here. It paying off as as he's in the in a pretty formal lineup, but he's in it every day playing solid left field and putting the ball in play. And he had a huge hit about two weeks ago in the uh, what was it Cash or the Tuttle game? Maybe Tuttle game, yeah. That's going to be right in there for strike two. As the count evens two and two to Jake LaForce. Jake, Jake and Mark, the only lefties we have? Yes. And good pitch by Smith there to retire. Uh, Jake LaForce as they uh, can't quite throw it around the horn and throw it into <laughs> right field. It's always a strong moment. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love that as a coach, I imagine. Get the out and then some guys that up. makes that makes guys so mad sometimes. <laughs> yeah, because it's mojo. You know, baseball is all about the, the the tempo and the mojo. And sure. back to the top of the order here, as Chuck Shepard steps in as he had flied out to right in his first at bat. We got. Oh, that looks like range. Oh, I'm sorry. That is range fault. Oh, yeah, I was like, sorry. man, we, we're going to bat a hole nine. We're going to go ahead and play by the rules. I was like, that's a little early. Yeah, eight-hole range Faulkner. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused there, too. I was looking uh, at the uh, the old batting order. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't see yep. it. But no, range is in there. Range hasn't been batting every day the last few weeks, but he is in there today. But he has been staying in right field and, and playing solidly at that position. He fouls that one back to the screen. Then the count goes to one and two to Range Faulkner, sophomore. Sounds like we got some cash cheerleaders. They're lower school kids. Or lower school cheerleaders. There we go. Oh, it's Coach Brewster's. Uh, looks like Coach uh, Brewster's PE team. Oh, that oh, away range ball. gets it really hard, and that always pays off off the. Heel with the glove of the second baseman, and Range Faulkner will reach on a hit. A hit. On a hit. Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that score. Hey, that, it was a tough play. You know. It was. Still high school. Absolutely. It's the home home score, so they want to give the uh, give the hit. All right. Cornerback, wide receiver, pitcher, outfielder, third baseman, Preston Taylor. Steps in in the nine hole for the Chargers, senior. Oh, PT, he's done it all. He is indeed. He's another kid, you know, when he's a freshman, he's a scrawny little guy and stuck with it and has become a. Oh, goodness. He did try to bunt and pops it up, and he will be retired. I know that's yep. going to frustrate him because he's, he's generally a really good bunter for us. Tough pitch to handle there to bunt. It was at the eyes, and that tends to happen when the ball's high and you're bunting it. Okay. Now we got you. Yeah, thank you. I think we're <laughs> now we're going to be at the top of the order. Range and Chuck don't look especially similar, but hey, they have the same shoes on. Yeah, same, <laughs> same uniform, same helmet. <laughs> so quickly two down. Good job by Smith here in the uh, top of the second. Range Faulkner at first base. Ball up and away for ball one. You might have heard that in the background, our lower school, some kids from lower school led by Coach Robin Brewster, a co-worker of Brex in the lower school, Coach Draper, and kids are cheering and the baseball kids on today. And there goes Range. Good. And Good easily, jump great jump. You know, you, I'm sure that the catcher's a little frustrated right now with the pitcher, Smith. He's being a lefty, you should take advantage of that and be able to maybe hold the runner closer. I don't know that he's thrown over at all. And uh, the kids know that, and so does Coach Draper. So Yeah, he's thrown to second. I don't think he's thrown to first. I don't believe he has, and that's uh, the varsity level. You need to do that. Yes. 
Time called by Chuck there as Smith uh, was a little bit tardy. 2-0 the count to Chuck Shepard. So good situation with Range Faulkner in scoring position here. And I uh, don't want to jinx it, but it's hard to retire Chuck twice in a row. There's a good shot at uh, Coach Brewster and the the PE gang right there oh, supporting yeah. your Chargers. There's Great. Mrs. Marion as well. <laughs> Senor, oh. don't, yeah. All right, we got everybody out there. On the fence. Love it. Favorable count here. I would imagine he's, I don't know what coach, I didn't see him give the take, and he did because there's strike one for Smith. But the count, that's what you do, and the leadoff hitter on, you take it at 3-0. and oh. So 3-1 and one the count to Chandler Shepard. Good pitch Health, there. Healthy cut there by Chuck, but swing and a miss. Yeah, he, you could tell he wanted that one. <laughs> Big cut at that one. If you notice, that when they're missing, they're out in front of everything. You know, he's not throwing particularly hard. Out out of play there by Chuck. Stayed alive and... Nothing, no damage on that one. Sounded like it hit solid concrete. There's another guy you need to, we need to get out for football. Range fall. Range, yeah, he, he played middle school. He was right. a good, good player. Mm -hmm. Very good player. Younger brother River, a good player as a seventh grader this year. Had his other his other younger brother uh, seven. Yeah. In oh yeah, that's well. right. That's right. He's, he's a character. Uh huh. I saw seven the other day. He's a good little boy. <laughs> he's funny. Chuck fouls that one back and out of play to remain three and two. The count two down here in the bottom of the second. Excuse me, top of the second. Fused with the home the visiting home team. Okay, lifted yeah. into right field. Right fielder has a beat on it and retires the side. Pretty good at bat by Chuck, you know, just there's eight of them out there to hit it to, so that happens. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting them, getting a the shot. That I think they know they're on Chargers. Look at Coach Seymour giving them fives, too. you got to love it. <laughs> good group of future Chargers. I'm sure we got some future Charger baseball players down there and softball players as well. Sure. Hopefully some football players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a good look, Charger fans at the the beauty. I want to I want you to find a nicer high school baseball field in Oklahoma and send me the picture because I I I, I don't know if I believe you. Yeah, this um, is this is one of the one of the best for sure. It's always in great shape. And of course, the the halo that was put in mid season around the around the dish at home plate just dresses it up even better with the uh, the Charger uh, logo H yeah. behind home plate and that. And of course, it doesn't wear out. And kids are standing there and doing everything. It's kind of the purpose. And uh, there's Coach Casey Brown. I imagine his daughter is in that line of kids over there. Is why he's trotting <laughs> over there. Absolutely. To uh, maybe slap some high fives as well. Got a lot of good fans out there. There's Coach Allen, former yeah. Charger baseball coach, yeah. 1999 state championship coach. That's right. Head foot. My first boss as a football coach. He was head football coach when I started about 100 years ago in 1993. First guy I ever worked for. Good man. Well, you know, you probably, you're always pretty fortunate. You're going to be likely to get really good officials at this level. And uh, my, my always sign for good officiating is we haven't noticed them yet. Yep, absolutely. And, and good officials don't want to be noticed. I, it's, you know, if, you, if you're having to get talked to and visit every inning, so, you know, you're not doing your job. Yeah, these, these guys seem like they, they're on top of it, obviously deserving of a regional. Sure. Okay, so we are in the bottom of the second here. We keep remembering that we are the visiting team the Chargers are today in this first game, losing the coin flip. So the cleanup hitter pitcher, Alex Smith, will step in for the Bulldogs here in the bottom of the second. Yep, he's he's back at he gets to stay at bat since uh, mm -hmm. Nunley was gunned down at second for the the third out. Correct. Just outside for ball one. And low in the dirt for a ball two. See if Landry can settle in and get some strikes going. Hmm. 
<laughs> Ball three, and uh, I'm sure they want a base runner. Looking at this one all the way, Will. Alex Smith for the Bulldogs. There you go. Bumps it right in there for strike one. Good pitch nice. inside. There. Right on the black of the inside, busted him inside. Not a good choice by Smith, quite frankly. Not much he's going to do with that if you do hit it. It's going to dribble over to Preston Taylor at third base. And on the ground to second base. Smooth operator out there. <laughs> Unbelievable. <He> just <laughs> slides over, picks it clean, and throws a strike. Over to Carson Orton for the 4-3 for the put out does Colby Lewis. Great job there by Landry battling back for yes, three sir. straight balls and then battled back for, for the out. All the way back there. Cash with the old Chicago, Chicago Bears C. Mm -hmm. I like it, classic look. Hard hit ball. And that's gonna Ooh. get into center field for a base hit. By Donofsky. Yeah, good hit there. You, you know, you never count out Colby, but just outside of the reach of him there for a single. So Donofsky reaches on a, on a one-out single. We'll bring up Kyle Mullen, the second baseman for the Bulldogs. So one on, one out. Kyle working out of the stretch. Curveball low and away for ball one. That looks like they got the uh, got the wrist coaches on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. I've always wondered that. How do, how, do you know how that works when they call out the numbers on well, the wrist coach? Is that a they they got going on there? Yeah, they'll know. They'll have a. They all have one. If you've noticed on the front of their sure. belt, yep. And uh, either on their wrist or belt, and they'll look. Or hopefully by now they have memorized. My goodness, <laughs> late in the year, but uh, not good. quite. Not quite like our uh, football script. <laughs> Thirty <laughs> new plays on there. <laughs> Soft line out by Kyle Mullen. Good job, Landry Kyle. Similar to the last inning, we'll get a base on with one a base hit with one out, but quickly retires the batter for the second out, which will have Grant Goodman. The Bulldog left fielder stepping in with two down here in the second. There's a snap throw by Landry over to first and Donovsky. Donovsky back in time. Big swing and a miss at a high fast ball from Landry Kyle. A good pitch there from Landry. Was. He's definitely picked up some velocity from last season. Yeah, you can get it. When you get long like him, it's the velocity comes with it. He's over six feet tall now, is Landry. Another snap throw. A little closer. Let's keep Donovsky honest over there. Can't get over how great our infield looks after about three inches of rain. Nice pitch there. Swing and a miss yeah, by I woke, Goodman. When I woke up this morning, I was thinking, yeah, no chance. Right, right. It's and impressive. all night, you know, you heard it all night blowing and raining. And oh, yeah. Two down here in the bottom of the second. Chargers leading one nothing here in regional action. At Heritage Hall, that's all speed pitch is going to stay up and away out of the zone. Count evens at two and two. Healthy lead there. That's bounced hard to Preston Taylor with the diving stop. Stands oh. up and guns him out. All right, PT. How about that from PT? In the hot corner, looking like Brooks Robinson. Lays out and easily throws out 
Grant Goodman, who runs well for the Bulldogs. That's the kind of plays you make and that we always seem to make around here, winning baseball play by Preston Taylor. So through two full, the score remains here at all one, and the Cash Bulldogs nothing. We'll be right back with more regional action. You're like most of us. You've got junk in your garage, heavy junk. It's taking up space, it's collecting dust. Here's a thought, do something about it. While you're at it, let's clean out the shed, the spare room, maybe a little more in the garage. Big or small, just point and it's gone. Junk boss, your junk goes here. Welcome back to Stadium 11. There's a good shot out there at the uh, the new uh, bleachers. I love it. Got some fans out there. First fans, uh, first fans uh, use them out there. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good addition. I don't know, I didn't mean for that, folks. You might have heard me say I was talking to Brett. I, I look over in the crowd and I immediately <laughs> got to love that about Heritage. I see three old teammates, who's some of whose sons play here: David Portman, Russ Cook, and Craig Taylor. <laughs> I Two love of those that. guys have guys on the roster. Very cool. Top of the third action, Carson Orton will step in for the Chargers as he looks at ball one from Alex Smith, the starter for the Bulldogs. Carson doubled his first time up. Good pitch there right at the knees from Smith for to even the count at one and one. Yeah, Carson had the hard hit double and then he was driven in by Blake for the Chargers run. Good and again. maybe another double. Now, nope. going to be a hard single right to the center fielder. I was off a little bit on my view of that. I know, halfway to the cycle already. <laughs> yeah, here you go. He usually hits it hard, doesn't he? Yes, he does. So Carson Norton working on a perfect day here as Blake Adams, who had an RBI single to left that drove in Carson Norton back in the first, will step in, does the three-hole multi-talented Blake Adams. Yeah, good start to, to the inning there for the Chargers. Getting that leadoff hitter on base. See if Blake can advance him. I don't think we're going to see a bunt here with this combination on the paths and the the guy at the plate's hitting 484. Yeah. So maybe we don't bunt here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you never know, but I, I wouldn't bet on it. Yeah, those top three batters, 476, 438, 484. No, it's not too shabby. Mm, right at the letters. Good pitch. Strike called to even the count at one and one. Carson Orton with the conservative lead at first and easily gets back in as Smith makes a throw to first. Yeah. A little lob over there. I think yeah. obviously just both to guys. keep Carson honest. One one the count. And Blake uh -oh. slaps that one foul and out of play. I was gonna say I hope they're paying attention over there. <laughs> <laughs> Harmlessly didn't hit anything. It's amazing how often it doesn't hit anything with five hundred cars and oh, I know. <laughs> kids and buildings and everything else. One two pitch for Blake. Gonna widen the stance there. That stays up and away. Good eye there from Blake. Looks like just just high. Good job by the cash catcher not begging for that one. He knew. Sometimes kids try to frame up a curveball that's eight feet out. And you're like, come on now. Nope. <laughs> two and two the count to Blake. That pops straight up on the infield. Will stay fair, it looks to me. And second baseman has called it and corrals it for the first out of the inning. So Blake pops up to the second. Yeah, good job by, by Smith there. 
That'll bring up Colby Lewis. Had a good start so far. He's had, made a couple great good plays out there at second base. Colby struck out his first at bat, but sure wants to atone for that as he steps in with a runner at first and one out is all. We're in the number 10, like Graham Colton. Yeah, it's a good number. The game-winning RBI in the state championship game back in 99. Uh-oh, they've got Carson in a pickle, and he's, a, he's there. He is in there, and the problem with that call is, well, that's, I just heard it from the dugout. Yep. They, off, they asked the guy to get where you could see that. That's a, I think he made the right call, and, and that's where we're going to leave it. But it's tough to see that right there. That's one thing with Carson, which, I mean. Yeah, he you can don't, run. He can run. He might not think it, but he can go. He just gets under that tag, it looked like, from here. Mm, absolutely. Runner in scoring position now for Colby. Pitch from Smith. Yep. Strike up there and swing and a miss by Colby for strike one. Seems like he can occasionally reach back and yeah. get it going. Yeah, and that could be just as effective as not having great speed to begin with if you have some more lift in the tank. Charger base runners consistently put pressure on pitchers. That's a strike dropped right in there for a curveball by Smith. Good looking pitch. Mm -hmm. Dropped by the catcher, but it was a strike. 0 and 2. So Kobe Lewis in a in a little bit of a hole here. Whole different deal in the postseason as a youngster. And that's going to get away from off the plate. And Carson Orton, Carson Orton, here he comes. <laughs> He's going to score all the way from second up. base. You've got to be kidding me. Wow, bounces off the plate, and then the can catcher find it. and pitcher can't find it. As it was back up, uh, yeah, coach is upset he didn't take his mask off. Absolutely. But, uh, Carson yeah. stands up from second and yeah, scores kind the of second a, run. Kind of a little league deal there. Yeah, you don't see that very often. <laughs> no, you don't. But we'll take it. Hey, two, two runs now for the Chargers on a on a wild pitch. That will definitely be scored a WP. And uh, so Colby's still in an 0-2, or 1-2 and hole, excuse me, with no one on now and, and just still one out, so. Let's keep this inning going, Colby. Take them any way you can get them in the postseason play. Absolutely. I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> strike oh, pitch strike three looking. And uh, Colby goes down for the second time on strikes. Yeah, but that one of the backward K variety. Yeah, that's, he's got pretty good control of that curveball. It's kind of fooled mm -hmm. a few of our guys so far. Bring up the pitcher, Landry Kyle. What did Landry do his first at bat? Remember, Brett? I forgot I was, to write it down. I was just trying to think of that. He looks at ball one there. Right in there for strike one. Sounds like we got the... Uh, Lower school kids uh, with the, the fight zone going on down there. Oh, really? I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Onward Chargers. Good for them. <laughs> Good time to learn it, buddy. Absolutely. Learn it early. Learn it early. You'll never forget it. There it is mm. again. He's got that under control. Yeah. It's a good pitch for Smith. One and two the count to the Charger pitcher, Landry Kyle, with two down here in the bottom of the second. No, excuse me, top of the third. Keep doing the home field thing. <laughs> Nubbed to the front of the mound, and safe. he's going to be safe. Unbelievable. Yep. Well, but you know, the beauty that's a play that should have been made for sure, but what was the reason it wasn't? Hustle and good speed by Landry. Yep. You know, if he's loafing it out of the box and upset because he barely put the bat on the ball, you throw him out. But put the pressure on the other kids to make a play, and a lot of times it works out in your favor. Looks like that. the first baseman, uh, Donovsky, had to jump and reach for that, and he's kind of holding his side there. Was he? A little uncomfortable. Yeah, pulled him off for sure. And Okay, two down, and Max Hardberger, Charger center fielder, and they got him again. And he's in and again. He's safe. Aggressive base running from the Chargers. 
It's a runner in scoring <laughs> position. We'll take it. <laughs> yeah, to this inning that if uh, that Smith has thrown to first and they've, they've beaten the throw to second. We talking about stealing a couple if we could get a base hit here. Absolutely. From scoring from second on a wild pitch to a base hit and a score off of that would be great. Swing and a big miss for Max Hardberger here. Good cut there from Max. Absolutely. That's going to be right in there for strike two to Max Hardberger. Count 0-2. That's up, that's up in the zone for ball one. Good pitch by Smith, actually. He chases, he chases. Yeah, Smith's done a good job. Mm -hmm. Been impressed with him so far. Obviously, only one of those runs is his. Well, I guess both. They wild pitch. Right. There's no. I guess there's no such thing as an error on the catcher for not finding it. <laughs> yeah. It was just like, I mean, it wasn't hiding under a no, was blanket right or anything. There by the, the pad. <laughs> it's the worst feeling in the world, having caught a little bit. It's the worst. You can't find it. You feel so helpless. Oh, just missed there to Smith. Good job by Max taking that one. Brings the count full. Yeah, good job from Max hanging in there. Good at bat going. All right, here we go. He doesn't want to walk you. He, Max fouls it straight back and out of play to... Keep the count at three and two. Oh, it does. Just mentioning how our field looks so good on TV with one of our great groundskeepers, Big Ryan. Oh, yeah. Who's on the PA, does the PA for home games here at Heritage Hall. Great job from Max there. Yes, sir. Good at bat. 0 2 count there. Battles back for a walk. All right. Junior left fielder Jake LaForce will step in. Jake st struck out his first at bat. Jake seems like another one of those guys that, that comes through when you need it. Well, and, and he's just tough to retire. He, either he runs well and he runs hard. He's out of the other, the good left side of the box and has that extra six feet to get going. That's outside for ball one. Just like that right there. That was a tempting pitch to offer at, and he you know, had enough discipline to, to lay off it for ball one. I appreciate the commentary from the umpire as well because sometimes it's hard to tell where the pitch mm -hmm. is from up here above the first base dugout. Yeah. Some guys, you know, I think on close, the kind of the unwritten rule on that, Brett, is if it's really, really close, you, you don't have to, but you can certainly say that. Even at the pro level, some guys do that. Ah, that a baby. There we go, Jake. Matt, Jake LaForce coming through. It's bobbled in right field. Landry will score standing up. Max Harburger will stop at third. Jake LaForce hits it hard, pulls it to right field for an RBI single. Way to go, Jake LaForce. Absolutely. Just kind of had a feeling that Jake was going to come through right there. And Absolutely. And he did. Good hit ball there. Landry scores. Moves Max over to third. Runners on the corners with two outs. A range. All right. Sophomore range Faulkner will step in. He hit it hard to the second baseman. Base hit last time. He'd love to do that again and come through with another RBI for he and another run for the Chargers. 3-0 the score here in the top of the third. Your Chargers on top. Conservative lead by Jake at first. And trying to get the hook there and catcher didn't bite. So. Yep. Jake will take second uncontested. Absolutely. So two men in scoring position for Range Faulkner here in the third inning. Chance to get a little breathing room here. Strike at the knees there for to get the count to 0-2 to Range Faulkner. Two down here. So runners will be off on contact. Curveball. Oh! <laughs> Max got a good jump, but had a little slippage. That's one, maybe one scenario where you wish you still had the, the dirt on the base pad. Yeah, yeah. There was talk that we were going to carve out 
the paths for dirt, but that's a, that's a lot to do in the middle midstream of the season. It's probably <laughs> a, something for later on. Okay, one and two, the count to range. Hits that to first and a one hopper, easy play for Donoski, and he will be retires the side. But the Chargers pick up two runs and uh, stretch their lead to three to nothing here, as we'll remain right here at Stadium 11. Through two and a half, the score is Heritage Hall three, and the Cash Bulldogs nothing. Speaking of those base paths, when did they put grass in there? Because they were dirt. You know, it's been a couple years. A couple years. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. That's uh, what I thought. It's good to see some of these younger guys stepping up and getting hits. You know, everyone talks about that senior class mm -hmm. and how many guys we're, we're going to lose. But uh, there's some youngsters stepping up. And tell us about uh, some of those middle school kids <laughs> that you, you had the pleasure of coaching. Something like 22-0 well, and 0 I think It was really fun. We, Craig Brown and was running the show there, and I helped Craig and helped Craig. And uh, we just... It's a, you know, the future's bright for Coach Draper. We've got the eighth grade class is really loaded. Uh, Caleb Kalsich, Brigham Evans, Gannon Allen, uh, Nick Keith, uh, Gavin Freeman, Abe Malone. All those guys can play, play. There's a young man that moved to Heritage this year, a seventh grader by the name of uh, Austin Lemon, who's a smooth center fielder and switch hits. <laughs> and uh, he played every game and hit two hole and, so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Those kids are great kids and, and gutsy. It's hard to win all the baseball games. Heck yeah, that's awesome. That's that's really cool. And obviously, the, the future is bright. Oh, yeah. Which is needed. You know, it's needed with the big senior class going. Sure. I'm, yeah, there's some – a couple of those boys I mentioned will have a good hard look of a chance to, to help the varsity, I would think, next year. Okay. We are to the bottom of the third here. Landry Kyle still on the bump. Hunter Tate, right fielder, will lead it off for the Bulldogs as he takes ball one. That one's popped up. Chuck's got a beat on it. Got a beat. Oh, oh. darn it. Yeah, the wind is blowing out, so it kind of carried that away from Chuck. <laughs> and if you sometimes you see that, and it's never a good feeling for a guy, but if you've never tried to do that, I yeah. wouldn't say much. <laughs> yeah, much, much harder than you think. One of the hardest things in athletics to do, you know. And he's got to shed his mask. He's got to find the ball, and and deal with the wind, which we can guarantee you we're going to have. <laughs> no harm done. In the dirt for ball two, count two and one. To the bulldog right fielder Hunter Tate. That one's hit down the right side. It's going to be foul, though. And long strikes, all that is. So Absolutely. count goes to two and two. Yeah, wind, wind's picked up a little bit. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's out of the south. Yeah, big big <laughs> shocker around, We've, around here. Unless you've been living under a rock, the wind has been uh, a prominent part of the days, just <laughs> to put it politely. It just blows like crazy. And today, actually, with this front all the way through, it's not too bad. No. That one's fouled uh, out of play. Good hustle by Chuck, but I think, yeah, it's going to remain oof. out of play, but not by much. That was dangerously close to my car. <laughs> Well, what a rookie if you parked by there. <laughs> that's, that's what I get for, for coming in coming in hot for the broadcast, parked right next to the dugout. Well, I'd have to have eyes to get right behind, right behind it with this nice, beautiful part of this press box and everything. Yeah, I thought I was, you know, I figured it'd have to be a... Again, fouled down the right side and out of play. Oh, just missed. Sure, the Bulldogs would love for that to knock the window out of that Lexus. <laughs> 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 yeah, those those are brave folks out there for sure. Yeah, you're going to get one there. You're going to have 25 over there when Chuck Shepard pitches because he throws so much harder than mm -hmm. Landry. Kids are going to be late all day. Full count to Hunter Tate, and that's ball four. Good at bat by that young man. 
Yeah, did a, did a good job hanging in there. So that'll be Parker Hunt. Peyton, excuse me, Peyton Hunt will step in, the uh, Bulldog catcher. So nobody down here, and the leadoff man reaches with a walk. Always a dangerous combination. Trying to move him over and bunts it foul. Does the Bulldog catcher, Peyton Hunt. Yeah, he chased that one. That was low and away, and he's, he still chased that. But strike one. Works out for the Chargers. <laughs> oh, it's fun to watch the crowd. I love it. Beautiful Absolutely. day here at the ballpark. Snap throw by Kyle. A little close there. He's back in there safely. This is a pretty quick little move there, Landry. Mm -hmm. Always, I just love baseball and marvel at how I was a very average player at best. Hmm. And th that throw there, you know, what are you looking at? How do you make that such great throw every time? <laughs> yeah, my, my baseball days ended up about after the sixth grade, so I'm, <laughs> I can't really <laughs> comment on anything. Like well, I played for Coach Brown a little bit in high school and when he was the head coach. When was Coach Brown the head coach? Well, that would have been 86-7 right in there. Okay. Nice. Hey, good job, Carson. So the job is done by the Bulldog catcher Hunt to move Tate down to second on the sacrifice. And Carson keeping him on their toes. Force throws it right down to second. Keep him honest there from getting lazy rounding the base. I believe this uh, first runner in scoring position for the Bulldogs. Yes, it is. As we threw Nunley out trying to steal second. So one out here in the bottom of the third. Top of the order, Diego Gonzalez up for the Bulldogs. And he promptly ball. slaps it into left field. And, and we're going to put the brakes on him. That was a great job by Jake. He read that. And got he's be out. Wow. Yeah, but a baby Chuck Shepard. Holy cow. What a, how about Jake out there? He got such a great jump yep. on that. Fielded it cleanly. Fields it clean. He would have been out at home if he took it. He stays at third, and then great job by Chuck throwing him out first. The, uh, That's good baseball right there. From well, and it, you know, you can't, it's hard to get on that guy a lot at first. He just took a turn. All the action's on the left side of the diamond, and Shepard, being a savvy senior with a lightning bolt for a right arm, throws him out easily at first as he rounded it a little too leisurely. That's a really big out. That is a big really, out. That changes I mean, it right there. You're thinking you're going to get a run if you're cash. Yeah, you're one out, one on, at the man on third. You're thinking, okay, we got it. We're in business, but now two outs. All that's out of play. Landry Kyle starts off with strike one to Hayden Nunley. Oh, beautiful! Another off-speed offering, and zero and two quickly. The count to the Bulldog center fielder. Yeah, good stuff from Landry. That's slapped down to Preston Taylor softly, and he throws another oh, BB dumb. over to first base. Gosh dang it, those guys, that's amazing. That is so smooth. Way to go, PT. Hey, that retires the side and nothing across for the Bulldogs. Through three complete, the score, your Heritage Hall Chargers three, the Cash Bulldogs zero. We'll be right back with more regional action from Stadium 11. You're like most of us. You've got junk in your garage. Heavy junk. It's taking up space. It's collecting dust. Here's a thought. Do something about it. While you're at it, let's clean out the shed. The spare room. Maybe a little more in the garage. Big or small, just point and it's gone. Junk boss. Your junk goes here. 
And welcome back, Charger fans. Just got a nice uh, view of my classmate, Hunter Magnus and Junk Boss. Appreciate their sponsorship. Um, great, great job there by the Chargers. Looked like the Bulldogs were going to get a run there, and Jake LaForce charges ha hard, makes a good throw to Chuck, who holds the runner at third, and then, then guns it over to first for out number two, and then, then Landry retires the next out. A great play by Preston Taylor. Your dribbler down the line and slow roller, and only a great throw is going to get him, and Preston threw him out. Let's see if he can use that momentum with the plate here. Made some great plays in the field so far. So PT up and looks at strike one here in the top of the fourth. Moving right along. Another good curveball from Smith. <laughs> Still one of my favorite PT plays of his career was uh, the broken bow fumble. The oh, ball yeah. just rolls out. He sneaks off to the side, snags it, and takes <laughs> no, it all the way to the house. Nobody saw him. <laughs> <laughs> we, I remember we and Mark did. We were screaming, there it is. Uh, and sure enough, he just one hand grabs it and jogs into the end zone before anyone even knew. <laughs> you got to love it. One and two the count to Preston. Good job there. Yep, reaching, and reaching and tapping that foul. A little curveball, I think, is Smith's go-to pitch. Absolutely. Time called there by Preston. Good job by PT. Good veteran move. Oh, good pitch there. So Smith, good job. Retires the first batter in Preston with the strikeout. I think PT might have been expecting another curve, and he just threw fastball right by him. Mm -hmm. He said, well, why can't you adjust if you think one <laughs> pitch is coming? That's why 30% of the time is considered really good in this game. Your future Bronco, Chuck Shepard. That's sky high to the right side. First baseman has a beat on it and does make the play, does Donofsky. Quickly two outs here in the top of the fourth. So Chuck on an 0 for 3 day. Yeah, but he can, his he worth has well him. been well worth it in defensively so far. Yeah, that's uh, that, that key number two to the game was disciplined at the plate. <laughs> kind of swung at that first pitch yeah. and popped it up. Right. So two quick outs for the Chargers that brings up Carson Orton. Carson's been smacking the ball today. Carson two for two. Looks at ball one away. Double and a single, like you said, halfway to the cycle. <laughs> yep, he's scored twice. Once on Blake's RBI single, and then second on that wild pitch where he stood up from, oh my goodness. Well, could that be, the wind is blowing out. That's gonna, he has drilled it to center field and it lands just short of the fence. And another stand up double is, I would say it's safe to say that Carson Norton is seeing the ball pretty good today. I think so. Hammered to straight away center field over the center fielder's head for yeah. a stand-up double. Yeah, that was about 365, which is good to carry out of this ballpark anywhere yeah. but center. Yeah. And this is, a, for high school, with that size fence, is a, is a pretty decently big big park for high school kids. Yeah, that fence is about double the size it was when in, in my day out here. Yeah. Okay, so we're in business again with the, the meat of the order up and Blake Adams stepping in with Carson Orton again. In scoring position. Let's see if we can have a little deja vu. Blake drove Carson in from second in the first inning. Blake one for two today with an RBI. Looks at strike one there. Looks like he decided a little late that he wanted that one. He knew mm -hmm. it was a strike. He wants something to pull. He's not going to pull that one. I'm surprised he granted that. It's umpire's discretion, right, on that? Yeah, it is. And just like he granted it there, you don't have to grant it. The kid was in his motion. It's sometimes it's a way to get a kid hurt. Curveball's going to stay out and away this time. Count goes to one and one.
know that one of them doesn't look like that. It was lifted to the center fielder. Yeah, there was two down there. <laughs> yep. But anyway, so good job by Smith. Retires Adams and gets through the highest average part of our order unscathed here as the score remains three to nothing through three and a half. Uh, always, as always, a couple sponsors to include uh, Brett. Yeah, Charger Vision would like to thank our newest sponsor, uh, Venue 104. They make they take amazing care of our students each day at lunch and serve the state's best game day gourmet concessions. Uh, they've done a great job, so make sure you get over to the concessions and uh, try that out. Also, Charger Vision would like to thank official sponsor Heim Orthodontics for giving so many Chargers something to smile about. Call 405-755-8151 or visit okcbraces.com. Venue 104, you know, I, I deal a lot in my job with, with Chef Derek. Chef, his, his workers just call him Chef. I guess that's what you do in the, <laughs> yeah, culi in the culinary business. Uh, but Derek's just as nice and friendly a guy as you'd ever want to work with. And, and, and they <laughs> the food they provide here is unbelievable good. I mean, when we have a faculty luncheon or something, it's not your big pile of barbecue beef. It's, <laughs> a, it's a very healthy uh, tastes great. Yeah, um, they, they did a they did a great job with our football team yes, dinners as well. Yeah, so. yeah, they did all our football dinners. So, uh, good job, Derek and Venue 104 guys. Okay, so we're through three and a half. Chargers uh, have a three nothing lead here. Landry Kyle will stay in on the bump for the Chargers. Yeah, Landry's done a good job. Just a two hit day so far. Let's see if he can keep it up. One low and away for ball one. Ooh, Oops. Little chink there. Yeah, it's, it's Abbott in the back there for. Yeah, I, I covered up my paper there, Brett. I couldn't see who that was. Yeah, Landon yeah, Abbott. Abbott was a good, another good football player for, for the Bulldogs. Wide receiver safety. Right, right. Yep. Hit by pitch there. Like I said, base runner's a base runner. Which brings up the cleanup hitter pitcher, Alex Smith. Lefty righty matchup here. The book says that favors the hitter. As he pulls that harmlessly foul down the right side for strike one. Is that always just? I've always. Is that just because they can see better? The batter can see see longer. You, you see the pitch longer. That's what I thought. That's always what I've been told. Didn't help me much, but. <laughs> <laughs> Good lead there. By Abbott. He's chased back by Landry Kyle. Abbott takes the lead. Another snap throw oh. there. A little closer. He was in there, but it was close. Yeah, he took took a little bit bigger of a lead there. I thought he was going to go for a Man. second. Hey, run at your peril, big boy. <laughs> Especially yeah, against Chuck. <laughs> the guy behind the plate. The guy if he doesn't rifle. drop the ball, he's a good chance he's going to throw you out. Well, and that's going to drop right in the gap there for a double. No, yes, it will be. We got to throw it. Oh, he just was not looking. Well, hey, stand up, double. Not stand up, a double for the pitcher, Smith. Uh, Let's bring out Coach Seymour for a little visit with Landry. Yeah, the uh, Bulldogs in business with no outs and runners on second and third here. I haven't seen anybody up in the pen, so. I think, talking to Carson, that, that he is in relief in this game. Yeah. And then the next game, Chuck and Blake are the penciled-in pitchers. Uh, but. That game against Chisholm a couple weeks ago, that he, uh, he came in when Blake gave up six and a third. <laughs> uh, Carson came and pitched six and two-thirds uh, shutout innings. Mm -hmm. It was pretty impressive stuff. Yep, I was watching that that day. That was indeed... Yeah, when he's right, he's hard to hit. 
when he's up there, he, there's something just about his wind up when he's just up there looking at his glove. He's just so big. Mm -hmm. He's intimidating up there. Yeah. On the, Can on you the imagine bump. how it was for? Well, last year I called a little bit of that. It was fan soccer versus that stone kid from Deer Creek who's six ten. Oh yeah. You talk about getting on you pretty quick. <laughs> six ten, you're letting it go at about forty eight feet. Jeez. <laughs> All right, the Bulldogs got runners on second and third with no outs. Donoski stepping in. The first baseman fouls the first pitch back for strike one. So one of those times when the old strikeout would be kind of ideal. Landry, not a big strikeout pitcher, but been very effective, especially the last month. That's going to be down away. Great block. job, Chuck. Good block by Chuck. That saved a run right there. Textbook right there. Drop your knees and let the gear work for you. One and one the count to the Bulldog first baseman. That's a ball, that's a way for ball two. Oh, there's another good shot at some lower schoolers. Oh, there they are. Oh, there's Miss Bogert back there in the back. Uh -huh. Looking good. <laughs> Gotta love it, a good group in there. There's Terrence, there's Barry's little brother. Uh -huh. A oh, hard hit that's ball hit hard. left. Jake LaForce is out of beat on it Good and job, makes a Jake. great catch. The runner will tag and score, but. Will be a sack fly, but that's definitely sack, saved a run. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, it saved a run for sure because the Speedy Smith would have scored had that dropped. So one down, and the Bulldogs get on the board with the sacrifice fly by the cash first baseman, Donofsky, which will bring in Kyle Mullen, the second baseman here, with the cash pitcher, Smith in scoring position at second base. He hits it hard towards Max Hardberger, who's got a beat on it and gonna retire easily for out number two quickly. So good job, Landry coming right back yep. and he couple was over where he should have been behind third base too, good fundamentals. Yeah, a couple of hard hit balls, but uh, good job by the outfielder by Jake and Max on those last two. Yeah, if he can retire this, they'd, they'd be happy with giving up only one right there in that, that jam. Okay, so Cash is going to jump in with a courtesy runner uh, for the pitcher, which in high school rules is allowed. That's going to be Brandon Pauley in a pinch, uh, not pinch run, courtesy run for the Cash pitcher. Yeah. Got Grant Goodman, the left fielder. Good off-speed pitch there by Landry. Start off this at bat with a strike. Yeah, that's a solid pitch. Definitely fooled Goodman on that one. All right. Fouled back to the screen. Goodman quickly in an 0-2 hole. Yeah, good stuff from Landry so far right here. So pinch runner. Brandon Pauley at second base for the Bulldogs with two down here in the bottom of the fourth. One on the board for Cash on a sack fly. Kyle working out of the stretch and uh, another good stop by Chuck Shepard there. Oh gosh. Good play from Blake there. Yeah. Colby, look, look at Colby, freshman. He was right there to back it up. The smooth pick right there by our shortstop, Blake Adams. Chuck. It may or may not gotten into center field. I know Colby was over yeah. there, but that one had some serious heat on it. Chuck so nonchalantly. Mm -hmm. Almost lulling him to sleep. Okay, <laughs> take. I'm not really watching you, but I am. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy to do, though, when you got confidence in your arm and confidence in your teammates. Yeah. Out back again by Goodman. All right. Good pitch. Landry Kyle with the big strikeout of Goodman here to end the threat in the fourth. But the Bulldogs do pick up one run on a sacrifice fly. Charger lead now three runs to the Bulldogs one. We will be right back for fifth inning action here at Stadium 11 in just a moment.
be fair, I only saw her hat. <laughs> Walter the line of the year. Remember Walter the line of the year? Yes. She's married, but don't worry about it. She just takes it out. Nice. <laughs> the kids are the same way. They're like, uh, do you laugh at that? <laughs> Welcome back, Charger fans. Uh, Stadium 11. Getting ready to enter the top half of the fifth. If you're just joining us, the, your Chargers are the visiting team based on a coin flip since this is te technically a neutral site. But uh, the Chargers have a 3 1 lead. Uh, Landry Kyle did a good job battling back out of a jam. There were runners on th second and third for the Bulldogs with no outs. Um, and he only allows one across the plate on a sack fly. So a good job battling back. Yes, absolutely. With a big strike out there to end the threat. Uh, well, we're in the first game of four today. Uh, the Ada Cougars and Kingfish Yellow Jackets are waiting. The uniforms are on and ready. They will have the other game immediately following this one. The winner of the Heritage Hall cash game will then play the winner of Kingfisher Ada at approximately 6 o'clock this evening. Whichever game Heritage Hall's in, the 6 o'clock or the 8.30, we will have it here on Charger Vision. Good pitch there by Smith as uh, I know Colby wants to get on base and have a good at bat here. He's struck out twice so far today to the cash lefty. Will the other games be broadcast? I know last year they they showed uh, they kept the video going without commentary. I don't I don't think so, Brett. We'll report we'll report back. Yeah. Pending. Uh, big co slow curveball that uh, Colby offers at and misses for strike two. Here zero and two to Colby to the freshman. That curveball stays up. Obviously, Smith knows what's giving Colby problems today. One and two, the count to charge a cleanup hitter. Good job there. Fastball there that he just tips foul to stay alive here. Bullpen action for the Bulldogs. You like to have a third guy out there in case a ball comes their way. Like or if the catcher misses it. Number five and number 20. Number 20, it looks like. That's curveball way out of the zone there. Two and two the count. Yeah, it looks like we got number five, James Austin, and number 20, Caden Klimmer out there in the bullpen getting warm. Good eye there from Colby. Pretty live fastball there that was up in the, up in the zone, but that's a decent velocity. I, I think just like the hitters, that it's probably not that fast, but looks so much faster with that big slow curveball that Smith has used effectively today. Good job, Colby. He's hanging in there. Another fastball down in the zone that he fouls away. One of the better golfers in the metro area just walking in there. Oh, Willie Mack. Mm -hmm. Throwing up some sick scores lately. Salty little 10 under par, 64-68 <laughs> last week. That's tough for me to do on 12 holes. No doubt about it. Good, Good at bat. Colby. That away, Colby. So fights his way to a base on balls there. Very good at bat from Colby Lewis to get the leadoff man on and bring up the pitcher, Landry Kyle. So nobody out here. Always good to get the leadoff on. We talked earlier, leadoff walks. Never a coach's favorite thing to do. No doubt. Like you said, Brett May brings a lot of fun if you're into scholastic sports, which we, you and I both are, and a lot going on. We have state girls tennis will start tomorrow, and our girls are bad to the bone. They're good. <laughs> they are good. They got a chance to sweep. Yeah, they do, and uh, and they're young. Uh, Lauren Harvey, I think, is our only senior in yeah. the lineup. Yep. And a couple freshmen in the lineup. There's a couple freshmen playing singles that if you, if you want to see good tennis, come watch them. They, yep. they both feed off the ground, and they pound it. 
I remember last year walking up to soccer practice, and there's a middle school tennis tournament going on. And it sounded. You could hear it. Yep. <laughs> and, and, you know, normally hmm. don't catch too many middle school tennis matches, but it was yeah. must-watch It was must watch action. Yeah. I was up there yesterday, and, of course, they're both ninth graders now. and Pretty good stuff. And then uh, state track state meet. Track. Uh -huh. We'll yeah. be at Moore High School starting tomorrow. Uh, golf regionals and boys Tennis regionals yep. will be Monday. Monday, golf state golf is Monday and, or excuse me, that is yeah, golf is Monday, Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. Fifty-four hole tournament. Yeah, yeah for thirty-six the on Monday and eighteen Tuesday. They won. They won their regional uh, by one hundred and seventeen strokes. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. They they had the top four finishers. They had <laughs> William took first. I believe Ben took second. Hardy or VJ, I believe third and Hardy, Hardy fourth. I think that's right. Landry squares again to bunt with only one strike and pops it straight up. It's going to oh. just out of reach of the hustling bulldog catcher. He gave it a good can't good run. Really, can't really blame him for the no dive as that is the uh, gravel pit yeah. back there. <laughs> yeah, well, your face going to run into a brick wall. <laughs> Probably feel pretty good. Uh, so two and one the count. Or should be two and two now. He two and two the count to Landry Kyle. He quickly got his mask off that time. I think he learned, learned his mm -hmm. lesson. Yeah, there's. Sleep on the job in the dugout. There we go. Two and two. <laughs> and we're going to bunt again. I did learn the signals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good bunt. That's good yeah, bunt. with two strikes. You got to love it. Nice job, Landry Kyle. High pressure to, to lay it down with two strikes. Yep. As we all know, if you don't, you're out. So it's good stuff from Landry. So one down, runner in scoring position. Does Colby go to second base? Colby Lewis. Center fielder Max Hardberger will step in. Max walked his last time at bat. They had a good patient at bat. Mm -hmm. It was quickly down 0-2 and then battled back for that walk. That's down and away. Good job by the cash catcher. Yeah, good block there. From Hunt. Coach is telling Colby to, to work his secondary lead there and might have had a chance if you're really going hard on the delivery. He did there as Max looks at strike one. Yeah, they already brought Clemmer in from the bullpen. Well, unless they just got him on a count and want to limit it, I, you know, I don't know what they're going to get a whole lot better than this young man. Yeah. One and two the count to Max Hardberger here, Charger center fielder. Yes, he's really – Smith has done a good job. Absolutely. Yeah, only given – I mean, really, we – You know, Carson has – Three two, hits. Yeah, two of these and – or no. Yeah, all th three of the six, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, three. That's down – down in the zone here. Mac Adams has a hit. LaForce has a big RBI single. And then the one by Range Faulkner that was scored a hit. I'm seeing all these, these Kingfisher kids over there. We might have to mm -hmm. do a little scouting, see who plays football, because we're back in, yeah. back in district play with them next year. Smith strikes out Hardberger there. Pretty good fastball there. It seems to me that Smith's velocity has gotten better as the sun is shining. You yeah. sweat and you warm up and you get it going. Yeah, he's done a good job. So Jake LaFour steps in after a huge RBI single. Last at bat. Yeah, had a good hit ball into, into right. Drove in the run. Kobe runs pretty well at second. Be off on contact here with two down here in the top of the fifth. Balked again. Did not pause. The rule's pretty simple. Yeah, Smith seems frustrated, but no no argument from the coaches. So, Yeah, that's one of those. Sometimes you get in tangles when you try to call a balk. If a guy's throwing it first as a lefty, if you if your kick leg passes the plate, the rubber, the, the pitching plate as they call it, you've got to go home. But you're talking 
That's gray area. There's no gray area on the pause. Dude. Yeah. Ball one to Max as that last pitch to a no pitch as it's a ball. Okay, Colby on third now. Let's see if Jake can drive in another run. Mm. He wanted it. Yeah, he did. That's out of play. Straight back. One and one the count to Jake LaForce. Dawson Evans in the house. Yeah, DD. One of my favorites. You knock your head off. No doubt about it. Better have your head on a swivel. You got a football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anytime you got a football. Swing and a miss there from Jake LaForce as the count now goes to one and two to the Charger left fielder. Yeah, you're right. That, that curve wall, that slow curve he has makes, when he does throw that fastball, makes it look, look fast. I'm sure it does to the batters too. Ooh, inside. Jake probably like to have that one back and just, just lean over it, and let it hit him. It. <laughs> right in the back. Two and two, the count. Pitch. And good job by Smith to retire the side as Jake LaForce strikes out. And the score remains through four and a half, three to one. Chargers the lead. Yep, left Colby stranded there on third. Yeah, Smith did a good job getting out of a jam. We were uh, we were talking about our spring sports. Um, if you're a Charger fan, tough night for the soccer programs Tuesday, but if you, I happen to see both games yeah. and they were both thrillers. The girls fell in PKs to Carl Albert, a school about three times our size, six to five. And the boys uh, played a very good district champ, Northwest class and squad, and it came up short. I think the, the Knights scored with about 250 to go in the game to yep. take a 2-1 lead and hang on to for the victory. Just, you know, I think losing, being in the second half against the win, Brett, you're yep. a soccer coach and sure. obviously there was is tough. It's tough, you know, it's a 40 mile hour win, but <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you know, losing is never fun. Obviously, it's not not enjoyed around here very much, but you know, when the, our guys played their butts off, Northwest class and I, for me, Northwest class is the best team we played all year, and you can't. I mean, we we were in there one one yeah, until absolutely. two minutes left in the game, and you can't. Guys have, especially our seniors, have nothing to hold their heads about. They played they played their butts off, played a great game, honestly. Well, and for the second year in a row, everyone kind of it's fun to be fun funny about it and everything. We have a big old football boy. It comes out and, and plays goalie yeah. for you guys, and he did. Trey Marion did a heck of a job for you guys yeah, at he really playing did. goalie, and the, the winning goal was no was an incredible shot. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, hard hit ball. I don't know much about soccer, out. but he he drilled it, and he had a couple of great saves in that second half. So, and you know, both teams had another great season. You know, a bad season around here is we get so spoiled is maybe not getting to the finals. Right. Uh, so, Tommy Riley kind of heads up our programs and. And, and Robin Brewster does a great job with our girls and uh, another solid season for Charger soccer. Okay, we're in the bottom of the fifth and uh, I wonder how long we'll see this Landry Kyle go here as he gives up a leadoff single to Hunter Tate, the Bulldog right fielder. Hunter's been on base a couple times today. So in, yeah, in steps the catcher. Day. Yeah, he's had a good day. All right, Landry, let's get a ground ball. Yeah, it would be lovely to, to turn two here. I mean, this is the kind of day that asks for it. The sun is shining. Birds chirping, fresh let's, cut grass. Yeah, let's turn two, <laughs> baby. We're going to play two. We might as well turn two. <laughs> Absolutely. We are going to play two. Bun attempt by the Bulldog catcher goes foul for strike one. CB keeping score down there? He's He is the official OSSAA oh. pitch counter. Oh, there we go. You have to have that in postseason play. Oh, yeah. That's coming in for the bunt. Oh, just in there safe. As a soccer coach, that's cheeky is what we would call it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I could think PT was paying attention there. because <laughs> Part of the play? Part, all part of the play. The annexation of Puerto Rico. That's what they call it. 
<laughs> Little Giants. <laughs> Sorry if you're getting a lot of football uh, references. You got, got a couple football little, coaches yeah. on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Fouled back there. Great job, Landry Kyle, to get the count to 0-2 to the Bulldog catcher, Peyton Hunt. I always enjoy it. It's, it's fun being above the visitor dugout because you get, oh, yeah. feel like you get something different from every team. It's pretty entertaining. We were just talking about Trey. There's Jody. He's, he's I one saw of, him. He's don't, one of the, the great Charger fans. Yeah, don't miss Jody. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw him at the soccer at both girls, girls and yeah. boys game. Oh, yeah. Out here supporting the baseball program. Well, you got to love it. We, we tried, they tried to match what Landry Kyle did, and he tried to lay down a bunt with two strikes, and he bunts it foul for, a, for an out. So, big out there for Landry Kyle. Brings the top of the order, Diego Gonzalez. Shortstop for the Bulldogs will step in. Very few ground ball outs today. A few to second yeah. base. I don't think, I don't think uh, Blake Adams has had a ground ball his way. Preston's no, had a couple. So. Yep. PT. Not many. Yeah, I can. I think I remember one or two to Colby and maybe one or two to PT. That's about it. Snap throw by Kyle. Tate easily back. Speaking of soccer, there's uh, G Money, Caleb Magnus. <laughs> two seniors. Good careers around here. Two good boys, too, right there. Check swing foul from the Bulldog leadoff. Hitter Gonzalez to get the count to one and one. Get the coach Draper a little action <laughs> on his Belichick cutoff sweatshirt. <laughs> hey, if it works, you keep it. Right? Yeah, he's been wearing that a while. <laughs> so one and one the count here in the bottom of the fifth. Getting down to it here. On outside, good job by Chuck. The uh the cash runners are getting back to the base pretty quickly now. <laughs> they, know, yeah. they know what Chuck, yeah, what I don't Chuck can do. It'd be detrimental to a big inning to, to get thrown out at this stage. That's the proactive nature of having a great arm back there. You don't have – it kind of cancels it out. Mm -hmm. Two and two the count now to Diego Gonzalez. Wondered if something might have been on there. Good tag by Carson, but he was in there back safely. See Coach Freeman in the house over there watching a little baseball. Oh, yeah. Young Gavin was swinging a hot stick for the middle schoolers to end the season. Good for Gav. Yep. Full count now. Is he a baseball player too, Xavier? I, this is a good question. Not I don't sure. know that. I'm not sure. That one fouled out of play there by Gonzalez as he hangs in there and this in a good at bat here going. All right, Landry. Payoff pitch here to Gonzalez. It looks at strike three. Oh boy, he'll regret that one. Right down Broadway for strike three. Looking, big strikeout for Landry Kyle right there. Yep, Gonzalez knows he missed an opportunity there. Good pitch from Landry. Obviously sitting curveball, something. Frozen. Two down now. First pitch fouled back for strike one to Hayden Nunley. I keep wanting to say Cooper Nunley. He was the, the jinx <laughs> yeah, kid, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 
still might get him. And he, oh, he, oh. Thought he got him on the heel. I think he was. I think his hand was just on the base. Yeah, I think he heel was popped too. Up. Probably a good call there. And uh, so stolen base for Tate in yeah. the scoring position. But the count, 0-2 to Hayden Nunley. Let's see if Landry can get a good pitch here and in the inning. Time quickly called there by Shepard. That's popped straight up, up straight up coming our way. Is it going to stay in play or not? It is in play. Carson's under it. Yep. Beautiful. I tell you what, Landry Kyle, he, he has done that a lot lately. Gets in a jam and just stays calm. Keep throwing strikes, right? Keep throwing strikes. Absolutely. And retires with no damage after that threat by the Bulldogs. The score through five complete remains your Heritage All Chargers three, Cash Bulldogs one, as we get ready for sixth inning action when we come back to Stadium 11. Welcome back, Charger fans. A good shot at Coach Draper. Now to Alex Smith, the Cash Bulldog pitcher. Your Chargers are leading three to one through five. Um, Landry Kyle's done a great job on the mound. Only given up one run so far. Carson Orton's been the, the star on offense as usual with three hard hit balls. Uh, he's got two doubles and a single. Um, he's got three of our six hits. Jake LaForce had a good day at the plate with an RBI as well. But that's going to bring up Range Faulkner. Range had a hard hit ball to the second baseman for a hit at his, his first at bat. And he settles in. That one high for ball one. Range plays pretty solidly in right field. Good player. Yeah, Range has done a great job. Hadn't had much to do today, but uh, nope. what he's done. But heck, you got to be ready when your, your number's called. Fouls that one to the right side to even the count of one and one. High again for Smith. 2-1 the count here. Use a, we need base runners here. Could use another run or two. Hit hard, but right back to the pitcher, Smith, who underhand flips it for the easy out. Good hustle, Ray, I'll tell you what. They're not messing around. That was a great hustle yeah. by Range. He hit it hard. That's, that's the game right there. You hit it hard right back to somebody. Yeah, he's got some speed for sure. And here comes PT. He's had a great day at, at third base so far. Absolutely. Ended a couple innings with, with some solid plays over there. Looks like Cash is going to make a change here. They're going to go with, as you mentioned, Caden Clemmer. Big kid, number 20, Caden Clemmer. Will come in. Solid outing. Yeah. by yes. Smith. Yeah, he gets a little congratulations from Coach Seymour. Yeah, pitched That's well. Good pitch, good outing for sure. Only giving up three. Well, really only giving up two, but uh, yeah. he scored on the wild pitch. Yeah. 
We're going to take a quick break here as we are changing pitchers here. He'll get eight or nine warm-ups, so we're going to take a quick break and be right back. When you walk into Fuzzy's Taco Shop, you'll know you're in the right place. With the best Baja-style menu in town, we'll have the whole family addicted. Nachos, tacos, burritos, it doesn't matter. It's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. We know you've had a long day, and you deserve a break. So, bring the crew to one of the Fuzzy's Taco Shop locations in Norman, Oklahoma City, or Stillwater. Welcome to your new addiction. Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City is proud to offer the leader of luxury SUVs, the new 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLE 350. We were looking for a powerful luxury SUV that's easy to handle. Safety is always a concern when driving on the highway, and we were really impressed with all the safety features on the GLE. It has a lot of cargo space, and that's very important to me when I'm hauling the family around. Our sales associate made our experience very memorable. It was just that easy. Only at Mercedes-Benz of Oklahoma City. And Clemmer. All right, welcome back. You're getting a look at uh, kind of the final few warm-up pitches there for Clemmer. Might be imagining things, but it looks like he had a knuckle. Really? A couple of those warm-ups. I might be wrong, <laughs> but we'll see. Did look a little different than uh, Smith, for sure. Well, he's a big old boy. Well over six feet tall and over 200 pounds, so see what he has here. As the nine hole for the Chargers steps in, one out here in the top of the sixth. It looks like Smith is going to be out in left now as well. I figured he'd stay in the game. Good hitter. Ball one to Preston Taylor. Getting a report from my official pitch count, man. They didn't want to get him to 125, I imagine. And, and uh, Smith threw 123 pitches for the Bulldogs. What does 100, 125 rule you out for the rest of the regional or just two days? Two I days. Think? Two days. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of pitches. Yeah, 123. Five. Yeah, that's going to drop right in there. Say, good job, Preston. Just yeah, went with the pitch, dumps it into right field for a one-out single. Yep, good patience from PT. As we get back to the top of the order, you got to love it. But Chuck's ready to glad to see a new pitcher. Mm-hmm. Had struggled a little bit from the plate today, but expect him to turn that around. In no certainly, time. Certainly, certainly more than made up for it behind the dish. Yeah, no doubt about with it. His arm and defensive capabilities. Preston runs well. Could have a bunt in order. He, no. He's going to go. Doesn't have to now. <laughs> yeah, he'll stand up. Wild pitch. He's going to. Well, and you wonder, you know, 18 15 is a solid record, but you wonder about pitching depth for the Bulldogs here. I would imagine he's saving another quality arm for game two sure. either way. So uh, we are really spoiled around here with as many good arms as we have here. At Heritage Hall right now. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Ball two, two and oh to the Charger catcher and leadoff man. Not something you often put together. <laughs> but Chuck runs great. Is he leading the squad in RBIs? Well, I think he is. He may be right. 37, yes, he is. <laughs> Lead-off hitter <laughs> leading the squad. 37, Rubies. 32 for Carson, 27 for Blake. So That's going to be ball track. four on four pitches. So Inauspicious start for the cash reliever, Clemmer. A hit and a walk so far. One down here, and... The man at the plate is swinging a hot bat. Two doubles and a single, working on a perfect day. Three for three is Carson Orton, big first baseman for the Chargers. And that's it. What are we doing? Oh. oh. Yep, Coach Draper's not happy about that. <laughs> well, PT doesn't make that many mistakes, so. 
No, we'll get my break. him off the hook. We'll get my break. One of our better, really fine student athlete is PT. Hovers around that four point mark every semester. Oh yeah. Now there's the bo the boss man's in the house down there talking to Dawson. Oh yeah, Rod Warner in the house. You know, seeing Rod just reminds you and Craig Brown and Kelly Allen. This place is amazing. Those are all 30 plus year employees yep. at this school. It's just absolutely. Saw Coach Webb back this morning helping with the middle school Olympics. If that stays, f well, it's, he's got a beat on a foul territory. Oh, oh boy, new life. New life. Come fair. on, cars. Because if that's if Whoop. that's fair, I don't know if we're going to get an infield fly or not. But it went, it fell harmlessly foul. But apologize. Went into fan mode there for a second. No. <laughs> well, we're the hometown team. Yeah, that's true. We're a homer broadcast. If you don't like us, you can go to the national broadcast. Yeah, ESPN's got this one simulcast. <laughs> Hey, the Ocho. Brian Davis is a homer. Hey, heck yeah. Michael Cage is a homer. We can be homers. Absolutely. <laughs> Carson Orton, three for three today, two and one to count, and that's ball three. Good eye there. Up and out of the zone. Yeah, I don't. He's dying for a strike from this guy because it's about BP speed, quite frankly, and he wants to sit back and hammer it. Oh, and he just got he, under it, and that's going to be an out. Straight in the air. He's automatically out. Infield fly rules in effect. So two down here in the top of the sixth. Well, yeah, Sometimes that's how you slow down a hot hitter. <laughs> yep. That'll bring up Blake. Well, he's, I know he's ready to have a shot here. Runners on first and second, two down. Off on contact will they be if we – hmm, looking at strike one there. Does Blake around the black at the outside corner. I know a lot of guys like to take that first pitch, but the way this guy's been pitching, I'd be swinging at anything else. Anything in the plate. zone, right? Maybe that's why I'm not a baseball guy. <laughs> well, quickly 0-2 to Blake uh, for Clemmer. No worries. Clutch player at the plate. Doesn't bother him to have two strikes. You get three. I wouldn't imagine there'll be much to hit at on this one. Yeah. Be an 0-2. Yeah. Oh, Boy, he just tipped. got a piece of that. He couldn't lay off of that no. fat curveball. And it dove out of the zone, but he nicked it at the bottom of the bat. So... Remains alive. 0-2 steal the count. I haven't seen these uniforms in a while. Yeah, it has been a while. I think last time I was on the call, they had on the old, the gold ones, the New York Yankee oh. style. Oh, good play there by the yeah. third base. Hit hard down the third base line, but knocked down backhanded and the easy step on the bag for the third out. To retire the side here. So the score, Chargers threaten, but are retired. Clemmer does a good job. Got to give him credit there. The five and a half, the score remains. Curtis Hall three and cash one as the Bulldogs will come up to bat here. And, you know, they're saying, hey, we need three runs and go retire them. But that's a tall order. I, it looks like Landry Cobb will come back out yeah. as we visit about uh, – you know, Brett touched on our golf team earlier, coached by Papa Bogert. Uh, they dominated the Class 4A Regionals Monday at Cimarron Trails and Perkins. <laughs> this looks like a misprint, but I don't think it is. The team won by 114 strokes. Top four slots were claimed by William McDonald first, Ben Sean at second, VJ third, and Hardy Bowers fourth. Um, the state tournament is May 7th at Buffalo Rock and, C and Gun Club. I don't Cushing. think you're supposed to bring your gun, <laughs> but uh, you can go watch some golf as the Chargers look to go back-to-back -back for the fourth time in Heritage Hall history. Yeah, they're actually, the boys are heading out to Cushing this afternoon for a to go practice round. round. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, it's a good day, and it'll be, they'll say cart pass only. Andy's going to make them walk anyway. Yeah. But oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it'll be muggy out there on the course. It today. will. It will. Uh, Charger track. Uh, Charger track, quite frankly, the boys' team was, was dealt quite a blow earlier in the season when 
superstar runner Billy Ross uh, pulled his hamstring and was done for the year. So that kind of put the brakes on several of our relay teams. But they had a great showing at regionals anyway. Girls team placed third overall. While the smaller boys, we did not place. Uh, Jacob Levesey, though, however, for the boards will run the two-mile at state. Uh, young lady Sydney Fikes, one of my favorites in the 100-meter hurdles. Daphne Matthews, a budding superstar ninth grader, qualified in the 400, 800, and the mile. And our man Jaden McDaniel qualified in the 400. And the 4x2 and 4x4 girls relay teams qualified. And in the field events, uh, Landon Mulder will throw the discus and Sof Sophia uh, Marger uh, qualified for the long jump. These Chargers could be bringing home some bling this weekend, so let's get out and support them at Moore High School. Yeah, Look, really, how about Landon? Really happy for Landon. Unbelievable. He PR'd every, every meet this year. Um, you know, pretty new mm. to the disc. Yeah, I mean, it's like he's new to football, yeah, but and he's, he's gonna, in, he may have been a helping State this year. qualifier. Yeah, I'm really happy for him. Well, if, you've ever, if you haven't seen Landon Mulder, if you say, well, I want to see the best-looking kid in the school, that's <laughs> who you want to see. The guy is about 6'2 and rocked up. Good good young man. Really happy for Landon qualifying for the state meet kind of out of nowhere in the discus. Absolutely. Landry Kyle back on the bump and pumps it in there for strike one. Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll have to get a pitch count on Landry here in a sec. Quickly. He's got to be getting up there as well. Landon at London at Landon, excuse me, Landon Abbott quickly in the hole 0-2. Nice job, Landry Kyle here in the bottom of the sixth. Ooh. Stays alive by fouling that one back. Right back Does Abbott. The, the lower school. How that H looks good on the... Mm -hmm. That's a cool thing, that halo. That is cool. That one hit down towards the right side to Carson Orton, who knocks it down and makes a nice flip to Kyle covering for a pretty nice baseball play right there. Uh, no good, panic there from Carson. Good hustle by the uh, Bulldog third baseman to get right down the line, but uh, nice job, fellas, to retire the first man in the inning. That'll bring up the left fielder now, the starting pitcher, Alex Smith. Did a good job in, in his outing today. Really Limited did. the Chargers to three. Didn't get any favors, you know. He As quickly he bangs it to second base. Easy play for the young freshman, Colby Lewis. And just like that, we got two down in the bottom of the sixth. Yeah, there's four outs away now from advancing. I know Coach Draper would love to get through this and use only Landry if he could and, and keep, keep Big Carson fresh. Absolutely. For tomorrow. Yeah, this is where they really got to focus in on that. I think it was key number three to the game. They got to stay stay locked into that final pitch. Exactly right. Landry's done a good job of that so far. First baseman Logan Donoski steps in and quickly fouls it out of play to the right side and out of play. Strike one. Landry's done a good job. I'd love to talk to Coach Seymour and about how many batters he's thrown strike one to. 0 and 1. Good pitch and again. And 0 and 2. I feel like Landry's gotten stronger as we've gone along, Brett. Yeah, he has. He's looking good. Kind of how he did it, did it the other day against Elgin. Good pitch there. Yeah, good catch. Right. Sure. Way up and high and. Count goes to one and two to Donofsky, the Bulldog first baseman. Yeah, Chuck had to reach for that one. Yeah, all six foot of him there. Oh, yeah. Hit hard to right field in the air, but Range Faulkner has a beat on it and grabs it. I don't know if he saw that off the bat, but we'll take the out. Three up and three down. Beautiful inning for Landry Kyle there. So, through six complete here at Stadium 11, the score remains Heritage Hall three, Cash Bulldogs one. We'll be right back for seventh inning action.
$10,000 that says Joe Cooper will beat any other Ford dealer's price on a new Ford. And I'll beat any Ford dealer's price on a new Ford by $500. Or we'll give you $10,000 cash. Check it out. Get a new 2017 Escape for only $16,849 or just $159 a month. Or get a new F-150 Super Crew SDX for only $299 a month. Getting the best buy of the week is fast, fun, and easy at Joe Cooper Ford. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. All right, Charger fans, welcome back to seventh inning action. It'll be top of the seventh, as your Chargers are the visiting team, even though we're at home, as it's a regional play. Chargers leading three to one versus the Cash Bulldogs. Landry Kyle's done a great job on the on the mound so far today, Coach Char. Don't you think? Yes, sir. He, you know, he's not going to blow anybody away, but he's got a fair amount of strikeouts. He's just he's a pitcher. He knows how to pitch. And the thing about Landry, you forget he's only in tenth grade. Yep, absolutely. So we are leading off with our cleanup hitter, Colby Lewis, second baseman. Ninth grader Colby reached last time on a walk and struck out twice. And he bunts quickly on the first pitch. Just him. get him to the Bulldogs. New pitcher for the Bulldogs, by the way. Number nine, Kyle Mullen. So the second baseman coming in. So we went. Abbott moves to second. Right. Clemmer to third. There you go. I think that's it. Yeah. That one in the dirt for ball one to Landry. Good eye there from Landry for ball two. Yep. Looks like we got Martin Smith on deck. Yeah, so he's going to hit for, uh, is that Max? That is correct. Well, three well, quick balls to Landry. He'll be taking this one all the way. And that's about a 52-footer 52, 52 for ball four. And uh, you got to love it. Mark's walk-up song is Smokey and the Bandit. <laughs> He's bounding down. He's bounding down. <laughs> <laughs> got to love it. Good for Mark. This is Jerry Reed. <laughs> Well, you can tell that uh, lower school is about to let out because it has become an absolute nightmare out there. <laughs> Mart's had a good year at the plate. Charger fans batting 301. He's got six doubles, 16 ribbies, five stolen bases. And uh, Mart catches some for the Chargers, plays a little first base, and he is pinch hitting for Max Hardberger. They get another lefty in there. Mm-hmm. Big back-to-back lefties. They're gonna. He's squaring a bunt, pulls it away, and looks at ball one. Good eye there for Mark. Junior Mark Smith. That's with a T. Sounds like Mark, but it's Mark. <laughs> Short for Martin. Right in there for strike one to Mark. From Kyle Mullen, the latest pitcher for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Clemmer just got. One inning, or did he even get he two thirds of an inning? Snap of it. He saved and in scoring position just like that. Yeah, Chargers have got a lot of good, a lot of base runners that can steal. It's good, uh, good deal for Coach Drape. He's, he's aggressive. He likes to, he likes to send them running. Mark oh, dumps yeah. it. Yes, sir. Going to dump it into left field for a single. And Landry Kyle's going to cruise in easily as the cast is playing hot potato with the ball in the outfield. And Mark Smith cruises into second. He will be credited with a single right there, but he will be standing on second. Good job, Mark Smith. Got to love it. So Max Hardberger will re-enter the game, which is per rules in high school baseball, and probably go right back out to center field. But 
Oh, is that Forge Stevenson? I, I can do. Yeah, that's a little bit of insurance the Chargers needed. See if they can get some more right here from Jake. Boy, right on it there was Jake. Fouls it straight from Jake. Off speed pitch misses low. One ball, two strikes now to Jake LaForce. Big deal to have to be the visitor. Makes a difference. Again, right on it, but fouls it straight back, does Jake. Yeah, he's battling. Count remains one and two. Off-speed deliveries. Pull to the second baseman who promptly throws Jake out, but moves the runner up 90 feet. So two down. Yeah, same as a bunt right there, so no harm done. Sophomore range Fogner, who's had a couple of good at-bats today, including a base hit to right. Last time hit it hard, but a comebacker to the pitcher, so range seeing the ball pretty well today with two strikes here and a man on third. Love to get one more in here. Oh. Hello. Oh. That hurts. That gear's on you. Fouled back right to the umpire. Hit him right in the chest. Oh. He's tough. He's, a, he's got a smile on his face. <laughs> oh, here comes JoJo. And Mallory. The man, the myth, the legend. I think, well, I think he's good. He's laughing it off. You go 150 pitches and think, hey, this has been a pretty good day, and then you just get peppered. It's, uh, <laughs> it can be rough back there. I'm afraid that's what I thought. It hit up a little higher. Right in the middle, you're not going to feel it, but your shoulder's not designed to get nailed like that. <laughs> Remember two years ago when I couldn't lift my arms yeah. for about six oh, yeah. weeks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was bad by me. It was my fault. Was it the worst one you've gotten in your, your career? Probably so. No, I had one that a kid just flat out missed it. It was dusk, and he couldn't see it. And Jason White was throwing about 91 and hit me right in the elbow. Oh, that felt good. <laughs> the kid kind of chuckled about it. Next two pitches were right down the middle. Ball. Ball. <laughs> yeah, have a Wasn't laugh. that funny at the time. <laughs> Well, he looks like Chuck because he stands like Chuck, doesn't he, in the, in the batter's box? He does a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. About the he same size as Chuck. Stance, yeah. Range Faulkner, sophomore. Looks at strike two there as the count goes to one and two to the Charger right fielder. Max Hardberger at third, and good off-speed gets him there to retire the side. But Mark Smith comes in, pinch hits for Max Hardberger and promptly delivers an RBI single to add one for the Chargers to increase our lead to four to one. So through six and a half, the score here to tall four, your cash Bulldogs are... <laughs> the cash cash bulldogs one yeah we'll be back after a quick commercial yeah. break
I've got ten thousand dollars that says Joe Cooper will beat any other Ford dealer's price on a new Ford. And I'll beat any Ford dealer's price on a new Ford by five hundred dollars. Or we'll give you ten thousand dollars cash. Check it out. Get a new twenty seventeen Escape for only sixteen thousand eight hundred forty nine dollars, or just one fifty nine a month. Or get a new F one fifty Super Crew STX for only two ninety nine a month. Getting the best buy of the week is fast, fun, and easy at Joe Cooper Ford. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. Bottom of the seventh, and Landry Kyle has gone the distance as he throws ball one to Kyle Mullen, the current cash pitcher. And Quickly, two, two and out. Yeah, two quick balls. I know uh, Carson was up in the pen in that half inning. They have a short leash right here. March run, March RBI will help that cause. Good pitch there from Landry. There go. Two and one now the count to Kyle Mullen of Cash. Foul to the left side. Good job, Landry. Evens it two and two. Right back with two quick strikes. Come on, Landry, finish this thing off. It's about hot dog 30 for the announcers. <laughs> <laughs> That's lifted to right field. And going to drop in oh. for a base hit. The range kind of slipped, but a nifty little bare hand mm -hmm. snag to save a double. Well, good at bat by Mullen as he keeps the game alive and optimistic for the Bulldogs here down three. Last chance. Looks like Clemmer is going to get his first plate appearance of the afternoon. Third baseman now, right? Yep. Okay. Through two-thirds of an inning. Took something off of that one for strike one to Clemmer, did Landry Kyle. Might get some action, but I doubt it here. Down three. That's that's that run doesn't help you. Not the way he's been throwing the pill around today. No. Shepard. Oh and two quickly. To Clemmer, and he lifts one to the outfield. Need to get on a horse, as does Max. Nice job, Max Hardberger. Good job from Max. Good jump on that. Yeah, really did. Covered a lot of ground there for out number one here in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, it looked like it might be one of those bloopers mm -hmm. that falls down, but Max got a good jump on it and secured the out. Two outs away. Tate has reached yep. a couple times so far. Yeah, he's had a good day, Hunter Tate. Come on, Carson. Had a boy. Yeah. Lifted yeah. foul and like a defensive end, quickly jumps out of his position and retires Tate on one pitch. And just like that, there's two down with one out here in the bottom of the seventh. The As athlete. Landry Kyle looks to close this one out in complete game fashion. Yeah, Bill Rick Hansen, shout out, the athlete yeah. for Carson. <laughs> it's, a pro, it's a fitting nickname. That way, Chuck. Ball one down in the dirt and just corralled by Chandler Shepard. Nice. Good pitch there from Landry. Swing and a miss by Peyton Hunt, the cash catcher. So the count goes to one and one. Well, Colby Lewis. Oh. oh, just off his glove in short right center. This is a kind of a what you'd call a Texas leaguer. That was a good effort, but well, give Rangers. credit give credit to Hunt for keeping the game alive. Yeah. For cash. That's good focus, though, from range. He, he got up there quickly to make sure that the runner didn't advance to third. Absolutely. Still two down, though. Two men on. As we get back to the top of the order and Diego Gonzalez for the Bulldogs. 
low and away for ball one. Tell him PT, you hit your way, step on your bag, and let's go have a Gatorade. Absolutely. Oh, we got oh. him. Hey. Oh. Good, good turn there. That was, that was really close there. Really close. Well, and you know, in a two-man crew. That's a tough call from way over there. Yeah, in a two-man crew, there's nobody. You know, a guy's about 100 feet away. It's tough to make that call. Is high school always two-man? Until state. Until state. Okay. Three-man. Mm-hmm. There, there we is. go. That's who I'd want to hit to to end the game as Blake Adams gets his first chance in the infield and easily corrals it, steps on the bag to end the game here as the Chargers start off postseason play with an impressive, solid, very clean 4-1 to one victory over the Cash Bulldogs here to open regional play at Stadium 11. Great game today by Landry Kyle as he went the distance. Uh, Carson Orton goes three for four with a couple of doubles. Uh, we will talk to those two young men here shortly. Uh, we're going to take a quick break and uh, hopefully come back with a quick interview of our co-MVPs of the game, Kyle Landry, Kyle, and Carson Orton. We'll be right back to Stadium 11. Joe Cooper will beat any other Ford dealer's price on a new Ford. And I'll beat any Ford dealer's price on a new Ford by $500. Or we'll give you $10,000 cash. Check it out. Get a new 2017 Escape for only $16,849 or just $159 a month. Or get a new F-150 Super Crew SDX for only $299 a month. Getting the best buy of the week is fast, fun, and easy at Joe Cooper Ford. Who loves you, Oklahoma? Come see us at Joe Cooper Ford. All right, welcome back uh, to Stadium 11 where we just watched your Heritage Hall Chargers defeat the Cash Bulldogs by a score of 4-1. to one. Uh, Landry Kyle with the complete game on the mound. Uh, Carson Orton with a great game at the plate. He was 3-4 for four with two doubles. Um, we're expecting those two up here for a quick interview. Uh, Coach Chard, what would you think? Well, you know, anytime you can get a complete game effort from your starter, that makes, you know, in a tournament like this, which is what this is, it makes everything easier as we head down the road. And, Landry Kyle, he's just kind of proven to be steady as a rock. Goes the distance, full seven complete. Gives up five hits, just the one run there. And uh, as always, some good defensive help behind him, but he was clutch getting out of a few jams today. Oh, absolutely. It just seems like every every day uh, you get another kid who's a gamer, and uh, Landry is definitely that. Um, you know, Blake and Carson, some of those Chuck, some of those older guys pass that down. And, and Landry is definitely a gamer. He's he's. Only a sophomore, but he's uh, starting to figure it out and had another great day on the hill. Uh, that's huge. You know, first game of regional, getting one yeah. a complete game, so you don't have to burn any arms. Again, we you know, 10th grade, I mean, geez. So, uh, you know, so he's got his full arsenal as we move forward here. We will, the Chargers will play at approximately six-ish, depending on the length of the Kingfisher Ada game. They will play at 6 o'clock, and they will play the winner of Kingfisher and Ada, uh, and that when you win that one, you're in great shape uh, to get out of the regional and go to state. And it will be a tough opponent, whoever it is, I promise you. You know, Kingfisher is one of our big rivals here at Heritage Hall, and Ada's gotten more than their share of Heritage Hall this year. Yeah, so a good I, look at Carson walking across yeah. the diamond. It's a good look at the uh, at the field crew, all these guys. These are some of the guys uh, that are responsible for getting this thing ready to go. Another another shout out to them. It's been Field's in great shape for how much rain we got. Oh, my gosh. I didn't think I'd see any dust flying today, but my man Casey Brown is dragging the infield, and there's dust going. So yeah, Absolutely. What a difference a few hours makes. Absolutely. All right, we got these guys coming in. I'll go ahead and hand it over to, okay. to Carson so Coach Chard can get this interview. Here you go, Carson. 
Man. Man. Well, I'm here with uh, one of our co-MVPs today, Carson Orton. He goes three for four. The plate is a long run up here, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, one of my favorites. I've got Carson in class every day. I want to just always get always in a good mood, having a great day, and no no exception today, brother. You had you went three for four with a couple of doubles, and uh, you're seeing it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. At first base, <laughs> and it's always pretty good at first base today. You know, I had a couple of. I was like. People forget, you know, you're kind of a big guy. Yeah. Moved pretty well to get that one little flare in foul territory there, which was a big out for you guys. But, uh, you know, it sure helps your staff, I know, if Landry yeah. can do what he did against Elgin and go the, go the distance today. Yeah, it helped us a lot. He got us what we needed. Put Chuck up next. And I believe you were in relief today. but mm -hmm. Which saved, saved me and or Chuck or Blake who had, mm -hmm. were coming, kind of going to come yeah. in. Well, that's a good threesome to, uh, to be fresh. You know what yeah. I mean? We talk a lot about your senior class. The the, uh, the fun just keeps happening with you guys. You know, you don't lose a football game. As always, you're right on the right on the precipice of getting back into the state tournament, which I know is your goal, and not only to get back but to win the thing. So, what do you what are your uh, prospects here? As you you know, well, I know this is a tough regional. Yeah, it's I think it's one of the toughest in the state in 4A because mm -hmm. Kingfisher we played them earlier this year and they they gave us a run for our money. Yeah. We won 5-4, and it's always. It's always a game against Yeah, them. and it's a great, great one of our arch rivals here. Yeah. You're going to miss out, but we get the Jackets back in football next year. You'll have to be coming back to watch that one from Cali County. Yeah. By the way, that's where uh, where Carson will continue his baseball career, and from there, who knows? Carson's got the whole package. Big, strong, fast, great arm, great great hitting as always. And I mean, it looked like you were taking BP today. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't throwing it real hard. No. No, but I mean, ball was working for that young man. Yeah, I didn't get to see one other than the one that he left up. Other than that, it was all <laughs> fastballs. <laughs> he figured I'm not. It might might be kicking it out of the creek if I if I leave one up. So, uh, hey, another great day for you as always. Uh, fun. I can't wait to watch the rest of the regional and you guys sit here and watch this and get the winner of Kingfish Rada. Yes, sir. All right, brother. Good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. Our other co MVP stepping in. Man, you're good luck, or I'm good luck. Something. Kyle Landry, because uh, I called, was it Elgin, where you went complete? Yes. Yeah, and that's the last there. game I called, and you went the distance in that, and I was just mentioning to your teammate Carson, what a big deal in a tournament like this, which is what this is, in a tournament like this, to go the distance, all seven innings just really saves the staff, and, and uh, heck of an outing by you, Landry. Hey, thank you, thank you. Yeah, did you, uh, what was working best for you today? Basketball again. Basketball, yeah, because Basketball. I mentioned to Coach Bogert that, uh, you know, Good warm day. Did you feel like you got a little stronger as you went along? Yeah, yeah. Towards the sixth and seventh inning, I definitely felt mm -hmm. like I was heating up a little felt bit. Felt like the velocity was in, was increasing a little bit for you. Um, you know, you got great defense behind you, but, mm -hmm. you know, I think there's a lot of young pitchers that can learn from you, Landry, and the fact that, hey, man, you don't have to throw a 92, but you throw strikes. Yes, and sir. you throw strikes, and you're going to get people out. You get, the, you get the, the change up working a little bit. And throwing strikes, and uh, and your slider has always been good to you. Uh, mm -hmm. Looks like you know, and we keep forgetting. I was just mentioning to Brett on the air, Coach Bogert, that you know this kid's only in tenth grade. You know, yes, and, and you're looking at me in the eye or past me already. I already passed up six feet. So, hey, I, I can't wait to see uh, any preference on an opponent, uh, Ada or Kingfisher. I want Kingfisher. That a boy. I knew. Yeah, I, I like that. Don't give me the don't give me the the answer that you're supposed to give. Say, mm -hmm. give me what your opinion is, and uh, yes, that's sir. our big arch rival, and. Uh, Deep down, we'd all like to see us play Kingfisher about 6 o'clock tonight. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, congratulations. Great outing. Way to, that's, that's a great team effort to yes, save sir. our staff and be ready for the rest of this tournament. Yes, sir. All right. That's Landry Kyle, our one of our co-MVPs uh, for today's game. And he goes to the full seven innings in a complete game victory over the Cash Bulldogs to win 4-1. to one. Big RBI late insurance, insurance run provided by Mark Smith, who was pinch hitting. And, Carson Norton hot. Blake Adams, as always, had a big RBI to start the day. So, uh, very good team effort. Uh, as always, good fundamental baseball led by Coach Draper and his staff. Always fun to watch. It's a beautiful day. I hope that you can get out here as my partner in crime gets back in here with me, Brett Bogert. And, uh, like I said, Brett, pretty good day. Uh, what do you expect today from Ada Kingfisher? Uh, I mean, 
Kingfisher obviously played us really close earlier in the season. Mm -hmm. You got to expect. I don't know much about Ada, but you got to expect they're a quality quality side, especially. You know, they're such a big school and they're they're competitive in all the big sports. So, I uh, expect a tough tough game right here and. You know, it'll be fun to kind of sit aside and watch and, and see uh, see what challenge we're going to face next in the 6 o'clock game. Well, I think that uh, I love it. Landry Kyle, I asked him, I said, uh, which, which which team would you rather play? And he didn't – you think, oh, I don't care, Coach. He said, I want to play Kingfisher. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's, so it is. I mean, it's, it's a good rivalry. Uh, you know, it would be nice to be back in district play and stuff like that with mm -hmm. them next year in football especially. But it is a rivalry, and – and our kids kind of feel it, so that'll be that'd be fun. But uh, well, you know, Ada's a great squad as well. Yeah, so it's a, that's a very two proud traditions here in all athletics, and, and Ada and baseball is no no exception. Uh, is it showing as the field as we as we cut you loose here? You got Coach Dobbs, Coach Brown, Big Rhino, uh, and the head man, Dra Coach Draper, uh, breaking the field and making this thing look major league ready like it always does. So hey, if you, it's a nice, beautiful Thursday, the weather's great. If you can. Get off work and get out here about 6 o'clock. You'll see a winner's bracket game between the Heritage Hall Chargers and any of these Ada Cougars or the Kingfisher Yellow Jackets. So from Stadium 11, we're going to let you go for a couple hours where the Chargers have defeated the Cash Bulldogs 4-1 to and we will take on the winner of Kingfisher Ada about 6 o'clock. We'll see you then. <laughs>